my gosh. It's been a minute since I've done a live. And of course, I'm unprepared. It's just who I am. It's who I am as a human. Let me plug in my headphones. Welcome to those of you who showed up on time, unlike me. This is why I need my headphones, because it's like, ugh. Hold on a second, y'all. Hold, please. OK. Let me close this. What up, Jonathan? I see you. I see you over on YouTube. So we're going to have some fun today. You know, I have been hiding, essentially. Um, but not not hiding from you. I love you guys. No, I've been putting my head down. I've been nerding out. There's been a lot going on this year in terms of technology. And, you know, many of you know me from the chatbot world, which is cool. Um, I don't know if you heard. I am no longer doing many chat. We've parted ways, which is on my terms. And I've gone with another tool that I love. But... Um, Honestly, I got kind of burnt out on chatbots for a while. I was uninspired, and I really got into this whole AI thing. And I've been doing AI for a while now, behind the scenes. Can you hear me all right? Let me uh, let me hit up the chat so I could say hi. Hi, what up? Oh, my gosh. Like two of my favorite people up in the chat. What up? Jonathan and Ryan Baggett up in the house. So, um, you know, I've been itching to get on live. It's been a minute. And I want to talk to you guys about GPTs um, because they really are a part of like everything I'm doing right now from the AI side all the way over to this beautiful like silver string, if you will, the gold string to chatbots because I'm, I'm creating AI chatbots now. Not with many chat. I'm sorry. They're so behind. No, with chatbotbuilder.ai. So if you haven't heard of them and you're a chatbot builder, stop. What y'all doing? Well, maybe after this, because I'm going to educate y'all. Um, go check them out. You can build really like, like cake easy, cake easy. So what we're going to do today, just to set the tone is this is very impromptu. I didn't plan to do this until I woke up this morning. I was like, you know what? I want to do it. In fact, like all the marketing I did for this, I did in like five minutes. You want to know how I did that? Because some of y'all are like, how did you promote this in five minutes? Chat GBT, come on. AI. It's my breakfast, my little smoothie here. So you gotta bear with me. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Can you guys hear me okay? If you can't hear me, let me know. If you're chatting somewhere where I can't see you, I don't know, I only see two people right now. So, um, okay, so here's the deal. We, oh, there's seven people watching. What I need you to do is share this out really quick because we're gonna go over some really nerdy things and I'm gonna break it down for you. And this is gonna be so helpful for you, whether you are just someone who maybe you wear many hats in your business, all the way to if you wanna build chatbots. We'll get into that a little bit later in the broadcast as we nerd out, because I could kind of in my mind, I could see where we're going. But what we're going to start with, what up, Hilton? What up? Um, what we're gonna start with is I wanna to explain to you the difference between GPTs and then like open AI's assistance, because you're gonna come across like a lot of YouTube. It's it's a hot thing right now. I'm like actually kind of late to the game to do this video. I've been thinking on it for a while. I gotta get a GPT video out. I'm already behind. There's like a thousand out there, a whole bunch of bros out there telling you what they are. But the thing is, is it's kind of, especially in the chatbot world, it's kind of deceiving because they're not, I don't think you know what you think. Um, they're not, what they think or what they're saying or what they're implying. And, and so it confuses a lot of people. What are these things? So we have essentially two main things I want to discuss with you first, and that is explaining these differences between chat GPT, GPTs. This is what was announced by OpenAI. So we're clear for those newbies out there who are not as nerdy as me. <laughs> OpenAI owns, this is like the overreach of ChatGPT, OpenAI owns ChatGPT, okay? So they're essentially one and the same. So when I'm referring to ChatGPT's GPTs, that's like the GPT that they were promoting for you non-developer types. The AI assistance that is going forward, so you know the language, that is going to be more for developers, okay? So OpenAI owns it all, but that's how we're gonna decipher it, cool? Oh, I got comments, what up, what up? Hey, oh my gosh, hi. Oh, you're watching me on Discord? 
I'm famous now. This is crazy. Everybody on there and their mother have jumped into the AI niche. Everybody is an expert all of a sudden. Hey, Joe. Um, I never said I was an expert. I just have been doing this a minute. And for the, you know what? There's always somebody. Joe, I don't know you. I don't know you, Joe. Um, what up, Joe? I, uh, I guess I have to prove myself because it's been a minute since I've been on here. Hi, I am the leading expert in chatbots. Don't believe me? Google me and you'll find out. But I never said I was an expert in AI. I just said I've been doing it a while and I'm, I'm like, I'm like obsessed. And because I took a, a, a step away for about a year for doing chatbots, I didn't do a whole lot of my YouTube channel. I didn't build, I just nerded out on AI. And so when Ryan Baggett came to me, he's like, yo, I got this thing that's going to merge your two loves. That's why I'm, I jumped ship. Anyway, I don't know, uh, Joe, if you were talking about me or about all the other people out there being an expert, but I don't claim to be an expert on AI. I just know a lot of things. And so I'm gonna break it down for you. And I'm gonna show my screen while I do it. I can't believe I'm on Discord. This is crazy. Um, hi. Let me see. It, it has been a minute since I. Oh, whoop. No, I need that one. Nyum, 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 nyum. Let's do maybe this one. Oh, hi. Hmm. Nope, that's not the one. Give me a sec, y'all. Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's do. Nope. This one, like a square. Like, can I be a square down here in the little corner? Okay, cool. So that way, you know, I'm here, you're here, we're all here. You're looking at Magi right now. Let's ignore Magi. Let's go to ChatGPT. Cool. AKA Uncle Joe as the Mac and Doe with the Uncle Joe, all the other faux gurus. Ah, uh, thanks, Joe. Joe knows. <laughs> all right. So I, I feel like I need to scoot over a little bit. My camera's like, uh, okay. Uh, how many of you know what a GPT is? Okay, let's break it down because I know we're going to have a lot of newbies. So a GPT essentially is just like ChatGPT, but it saves everything you educated on. So if you look, can you see, and I'm going to make it bigger. Give me a sec. You see over here in the right above my head. You see that? We got, these are my GPTs. Now, some of them I'm just messing around with. I'm just effing with. Uh, because I just wanted to learn, right? That's the best way to learn is just to mess with it. And some of them I use literally every day. <laughs> um, and so I only have a couple here because I actually use a couple other tools, which we'll get into. But what I want to show you today is not only the differences, I'm going to show you how to build a GPT. And we're going to talk about why, even if you're not a chatbot person, we're just talking about in general, every single business owner needs to have some GPTs on their side. Because what this allows me to do is Instead of having to go in to the chat, you know, here's our regular chat and give the prompt and give like all the context and do it over and over and over again. It's like, oh my God, I do this every time. I need to use this. I use ChatGPT, for example, to write um, emails. And I have a style, right? I want it to sound like me. I want it to sign off like me, but I've got to train the flipping GPT every time. Or uh, I have to go through like, let me move my head over here. Hi. Um, I have to go look at this. Look at this, y'all. Look at this is you see over here on the on the left. Look at all these things. Yes, I have a, a thing that allows me to search these. But y'all, I use ChatGPT so often. It would take me forever to find the right one. It's just I don't want to do it. So I trained the GPT to be my assistant here. The GPT, which one? Oh, that's the one looking at the wrong camera. The GPT is my assistant, but I have different assistants. So think of it this way. You have a team of people. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, depends on the size of your business, but wouldn't it be nice to have a team of people? You have your personal assistant who's writing those emails, right? And like doing some assistant stuff. And then you have someone like me, I have a YouTube channel. So I need someone who's like a pro. I have my YouTube pro and I've trained my YouTube pro to on my brand on Baby Got Bot to help me write scripts, descriptions. I have trained this bad boy to know everything there is to know from all the experts in the YouTube universe that I follow. And this is this is Nina, by the way, if you're looking over here, this is Nina. That is my Baby Got Bot YouTube pro. And then I have um, Miranda. I'll show you all these. Miranda is like my business coach. I, have tr I am actually a certified uh, neuro-linguistic therapist. I actually am a hypnotherapist too, certified, board certified, bro. I know that's a fun little fun fact about me. And I've trained Miranda here 
Um, I've trained Miranda to be my business coach. So if I get stuck on something or I just want to like bang out some ideas and brainstorm, because sometimes, you know, you just have too many ideas. You're like, I just need to get this out of my head and talk to somebody. I could do that with Miranda. Um, and then there's Gina and Gina. I just, she was my first one, <laughs> you know, the first one special and Gina and I, uh, we create, I created Gina first. And so she's kind of lame. I'm not sorry, Gina. I haven't updated her, but she was my first GPT. And we'll talk about kind of like how I've learned from there, but I could also get one and I should, that is my social media manager for Instagram my Facebook expert, my LinkedIn expert. I want to make each one of those different because they're all trained on specific platforms. So what do I need? What do you need? Right? And if you don't know what you need, you can always go over here to chat GPT and you could say something like, um, I don't know, let's, let's just like, let's just, I don't know, uh, spitball. That's what they got. Let's spitball it. Sorry. Hey, I need you to help me come up with various assistance that can help me in my business, period. Some of the things I'm thinking about are a personal assistant who can help write my emails for me and a expert in YouTube that can help me with my research for my videos and my titles and descriptions. And also a copywriter who can help me with writing video scripts for TikTok and Reels. What other type of assistance like this can you help me think of that would be helpful for business? It's something that my friend Ryan, whenever I get a chance to geek out with him, he nails into my head. And he does this in his videos too. Shout out to Ryan. I think he might still be in the chat. He's a busy dude. Is um, He always says like, do what you do and then put it in ChatGPT because ChatGPT will make it better, okay? So if you don't know, like, I don't know what kind of assistant I need. Look, we have someone who manages my email, someone who could schedule my appointments and meetings. By the way, we can build that, not with GPT. You build that with a chatbot. Uh, handle administrative tasks, organize my calendar, conduct research on specific topics, YouTube experts. So these are all different GPTs essentially, some of them that I could use. So I could, use, I could have a GPT that's specific for TikTok and Reels, like short form video. I can have one to help me with long form video. I can help one that is like my blogger that is known on this. Or if you're a digital marketer, right? Like you do social media or content marketing, you could have a GPT trained on each one of your clients. Wouldn't that be cool? And I have that in Magi too. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Is this the free version of GPT? Joe says, let me put you up on the screen, Joe. Um, no, this is not the free version. You must have a pro version. In fact, let's, let's chat about this real quick. Um, when you are using GPTs, you have to have a pro version, I believe, unless I changed it like two days ago or something. Uh, you have to have a pro version of ChatGPT, so like plus, I think they call it. And you get 50 messages that for your GPTs, each or not each G GPT, like all your GPTs, for you individually to use it. You have 50 messages per every three hours. So like, yeah, there's a limit. <laughs> but I'm gonna teach you how to get around that. Okay, cool, does that make sense? Dexter's in the house. What up, Dexter? I love it. Thank you. It is awesome, isn't it? Chatbot Builder is is like, these are all, they all connect. Like AI, Chatbot Builder is the AI chatbot tool. It's amazing. Um, okay, so we have all these things. So if you don't know, you ask ChatGPT. Cool. So let's get into it. Let me show you, like, let's, I'll, let me show you Stella. This is my girl, Stella. And, St and I'm going to show you how to build one of these too. So bear, bear with me. Um, let me shrink this down just a smidgen. Hello. Hello. I don't know where to do that. Here. There. Whoa. Maybe more than a smidgen. Okay. Um, so Stella is AI assistant for content creation, friendly and methodical. Okay. So I've trained Stella on me. And you see I have a couple prompts here. Stella can help me write a blog. She can help me write an email and she can help me write a video script. Now, to be honest, Stella's really not is not created for, for baby got bot video script. She's more like stellar media marketing. That's why her name's Stella. This is, so I have two companies essentially. I have stellar media marketing, which is my main gig, my company I've owned for like 14, 15 years now. And then baby got bot is a trademark. It is trademark fools. I will come after you. Baby got bot is trademarked by me, stellar media marketing, the owner. Okay. So that's kind of the difference. So Stella is my personal assistant. I use Stella on the daily to write my emails. She's like my email queen. So you see, I have the prompt here. 
let's write an email. So Stella, I will tell her, let's write an email. And then she's going to ask me a couple questions. First, she's going to say, absolutely. Let's start crafting your email first. Tell me the main topic or purpose of the email. This will help us set the tone. So I don't know. We'll just like, let's tell Stella about, let's pretend we're promoting this, this broadcast right here. Okay. Yes. I'm writing this email to my subscribers to tell them about my upcoming live broadcast where I'm going to teach them the difference between GPTs and AI assistants and how to build an army of AI assistants for their business to make their business soar. I don't think we're supposed to say sore like I'm sore, but I'm old and I am sore, so we're going to stick with it. Cool thing about GPT is they get it. It'll figure it out. Great topic. Sounds like an engaging, informative broadcast. Now, could you tell me a bit about your target audience? So I have trained Stella to ask these sort of questions because I want, I have a lot of different audiences that I email to. I have people just interested in AI. I have people just interested in chatbots. I have real estate agents. I have people who are interested in social media and in classes I do. So you see, I have a lot of segments and I know how to segment and I send my messages to those people who I've segmented to. Okay. So, um, so I've taught, I've taught her to do this and I'm going to teach you how to do this as well. So great topic. Sounds great. Who's the audience, primary business owners, tech enthusiasts, a mix of both. Understand your audience will help me tailor this. Cool. The audience is AI beginners to intermediates and people who are building AI chatbots or want to be. So she's just going to keep going. She's going to, I don't know how many more questions she'll ask. Not too many more. Understood. Next, are there any specific points or highlights? So a lot of times um, we skip this because I know I'm like thinking ahead and I just like plop in a whole bunch of stuff. And then she just asked me like one question and goes, but she's being very thorough, which is good. Are there any specific points, key takeaways, special guests? Um, I'm going to say no. No, just go ahead and write the email. So she's going to write this email for me <clears throat> and I can make changes to it. You guys know how AI works. Like you're not new to ChatGPT. If you don't like it, you could change it. <laughs> you could be like, nah, this was not for me. So like she's, she likes to talk a lot. So this is longer than an email that I'd want to write. So I'd go back to like, yo, make it shorter. I do like how she used bullet points. I love this. Why should you attend? Who should join? What are you going to learn? Well, I bet you she, oh no. I'm doing too much. AI has been, GPT has been doing that to me lately. Um, I bet she signs off with to your success. Why do I know that? Because I've trained her to always sign off with to your success. Cause that's my, that's how I sign off. Right. All right. Let's let her do this while I take a sip of my smoothie. And then I'm gonna show you how to build one yourself. Ha. Did you see it? Boom to your success. Okay. So she wrote all the things. Now I could have given her the links and the times and stuff when she was asking me about information, she would have filled that in for me. No big deal. Yeah, this was great. Thanks. All right. So you see, that's the premise. I have an assistant for everything that I need right now. This is the one I use all the time as well. Nina, Nina is my, my script and genius, right? Uh, Nina is going to script specifically for me and baby got bought. That's what Nina is made for. Okay. So I'm going to show you the back end of this one, but before I do, let me show you. So this is, these are GPTs that we're playing with. Now, if we were a developer, um, we would be over here. This is open AI. Remember what I told you, open AI owns chat GPT, but this is for the developers. And we would go over here to the assistants and you could build out, you see, I have Gina here too. You could build out an assistant here. Now, how much does this cost? Well, this is different. This is not part of a pro account or anything. You can come in here and create whatever you want, but you pay per use case. So, um, it could end up being more expensive actually, especially if you have like a lot of documents, right? Because an assistant can read PDFs. You can create a knowledge base off of like PDFs and stuff, which is cool. So, um, yeah, see, I could show more models. I could pick my model. So here I could, do another Nina. I could uh, name it Nina part du. I could say, Hey, Nina's going to be the assistant. That's going to help write email or uh, YouTube videos. We're going to pick the model, whichever model, if you want to hire model, you got to get, you got to go buy that API for right. And then the functions, 
Um, functions are basically just like specific things you need this thing to do. So like capturing certain information and stuff. Um, this, so do you want the code? Do you want retrieval? Uh, and then adding files. So the big thing is adding files, right? So the thing is with this is you have to know how to like code. You have to know how to code. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, y'all. I don't know how to code. I mean, I know how to get by. I can do coding, but it's piss poor coding. And so this is not my wheelhouse. I don't wanna touch this shit. This is not for me. I am the first to admit this is not where I, where my, my zone of genius is. I'm a creative mind. I can't get bogged down in this. Or other people are much better at this stuff. So this isn't for me. I'm not going to build an assistant like this. Now, what is the other benefit? Well, with the assistants, we can like use API and connect it to some chatbot somewhere through like Zapiers and tools and all this shit that's going to end up costing you even more money. And that's cool. But I, I mean, you know me, I don't code. So why would I even bother with that shit? Plus I'm frugal AF. So I, <laughs> I just use chatbot builder to do that. I don't even use these. This is already built into chatbot builder. So, but basically the difference is the assistance when people are on YouTube and they're talking about like, Oh, GPTs, but then they're showing you this shit. This is not a GPT. These are completely different things. They do similar things, but they're completely different. But if you're like a heavy chatbot GPT user, this could be very easy for you. Now, for those of you who you know that I've told you Magi is the where is where you should be if you're trying to be frugal and, and get your hands on like all the things, hold that thought. We're gonna talk about how you could do something similar in Magi, okay? So bear with me. Look at this. All these people be chatting. I'm gonna teach you how to get around it. Yeah, you know it. You know it. <laughs> What's up? Jin and the hat. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Is this the free? No, I already answered that question. All right, let's move on. Okay, so I showed you the front end. Let's go to the back end. So I'm gonna go to my settings over here. I gotta move this around. What you don't see, y'all, is I have all these little boxes open for this thing, so I could do stuff like this. Oh, it didn't play. My my little cult, my applause didn't work. Anyway, sorry, I got squirrel. My GPTs. All right, so these are my GPTs, which you're gonna see in a sec. Come on. There, it's loading. And you can see I can edit them here. I can create a new one. I'm gonna create a new one in a minute. Um, you can also see if other people have gone through these. So like the lockbox, can you see the lockbox? That means it's just for me. Uh, only I use these. I do not share them. They're not available on a marketplace. Um, whereas these are available to other people if they wanna use them, okay? So let's go into Nina. So you can see the back end of how Nina is configured. Move you over here, turn you off. Okay. So this thing is going to blow your freaking mind. Okay. So <laughs> you don't even need to know any of this shit in the back. I'm going to show you why in a minute, but let's just do it anyway. So we're going to name it Nina, which I did and tell it, what does Nina do? Nina crafts YouTube videos for baby got bot ready for teleprompter use. I had to be really specific because every time ChatGPT helps me with, um, creating what do you call it? Creating uh, scripts. It like is overly detailed. Like I don't care about the little notes about like at this timestamp, you're going to show this clip and then say, I don't need that. I just need to know what I'm going to say, put it in the teleprompter and go. My brain is creative enough to figure the rest out. That's my zone of genius. As I told you before, creativity. All right. So the introduction. So this is where I train Nina. All right. Nina. So I'm telling Nina, this is what you are. This is what you know. Nina specialized for baby got bot. This is trained for my, I keep looking at this camera. This is trained for my, that's how well I've trained myself. This is trained for my YouTube channel. Okay. Direct to teleprompter. Nina's scripts are designed to enhance viewer engagement. All right. So I like went in and told her all this stuff. Look at this. She has a knowledge base. Nina has a knowledge base, a PDF knowledge base. I can train her on anything, right? Because the YouTube knowledge base is essentially what I did is I went out and I took um, transcripts from all the best videos on YouTube from the top experts on how to build a YouTube channel, how to script, how to do a storytelling, everything that they want you to know, all the experts. I went and I downloaded their transcripts and then I used ChatGPT and I built a knowledge base off of it, turned it into a PDF and boom, 
Nina now has the brain of your Daryl Eves, of your Brian um, John J. Johnsons, of like all the people, right? Okay. I know you're excited. Um, and you can just upload those here. All right. And then you have your capabilities. Capabilities. What is this thing allowed to do? Well, she can browse the web if I wanted to. Now, if I took this off, she can't browse the web, but she can. So I could be like, here's a link. I want you to go uh, learn everything you can about this article, for instance. Someone puts out an article and I'm like, okay, I'm going to give you an example, a specific example. Uh, I know that Ryan Baggett's in the house or someone from Chatbot Builder's in the house because Chatbot Builder is, is commenting. And we're, they're doing an amazing, if you're a Chatbot Builder, listen up, they're doing a, an amazing contest running through next month, the 25th of January, where you can win like up to $1,000 cash money um, because my birthday's next month. Maybe I should do it. I'm one of the judges. I can't do it. But you could win this money for building a chatbot. So he had asked me, Ryan, if I could do a little teaser video about this. I was like, sure. I don't write my own scripts. <laughs> I got an assistant for that, Nina. So I went to Nina and I, he had sent me a link to the, the um, what do you call it? He sent me a link to the, the rules and stuff, like just a Google doc. And I put it into Nina and I was like, can you, create like a 30 second teaser like promo video script for this and that's all I said and then if you go and you look at the video that I posted yesterday on YouTube the little teaser or on Instagram or on my reels uh, or on Facebook wherever wherever you see that like real style even on my TikTok um, that's the video I didn't edit anything in that video like you sometimes I'll like make little edits in terms of like the script but Nina nailed it and all I did was here is a link to the rules and the description of this contest create a 30 second teaser video script and boom, done. And then I threw it into CapCut. I don't know if you know this, but CapCut has a, um, a teleprompter feature. You just put it right there. And then I was just like, blah, 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 blah. And then I edit it real quick. And also um, for you ladies in the house, I don't like wearing makeup very often. I know it makes me look better on camera, which is why I'm wearing it now. But CapCut actually has an AI makeup thing. So I didn't even have makeup yesterday on and I was able to, apply it. Anyways, that's just a fun fact. Okay. So Nina can read your GPTs. If you choose, they can read web browsing. You could do Dolly image generation, which is hella fun, hella fun. Um, and then code interpreter. I, you know, I don't use code. Uh, again, I'm not a coder, but it's cool because it can like analyze things. Um, it's, it's just a little bit better at that sort of thing. And if I need code, sometimes I do need it to code like if I'm going to have it write a blog, but I want it to embed perfectly the way it's like set up, I'll be like, hey, can you put this in like an HTML or a JavaScript or something? And I'll just like throw it into the WordPress blog with the code and it looks better. So those are all things. I usually just say like all of them because you never know. You don't want to be like, oh, I needed that. Why didn't I add it? Okay. And then we have actions. I don't know why invalid action must have changed unless I deleted it. I probably had an action and then it didn't work anymore. All right, and then we have additional settings. So use conversation data in your GPT to improve our models. You could choose to turn this off. Basically everything that you're using is also training the greater open AI. It's not gonna like, you know, take everything. But what, remember when I told you, you don't need necessarily to even know all that. So when I started Nina, it didn't say anything about Baby Got Bought. It didn't say anything about the teleprompter. I learned along the way and I was like, you know what? I don't like, I don't like the way that you do this thing. Okay. So here's something that I know that I need Nina to change, but instead of going in and configuring it, they created this GPT builder. You don't have to know any of that crap. You could go into GPT builder and be like, yo, create me a GPT that does this and is like this and does this. Okay. Or as you're editing, as you're playing with it, you want to make a change, check this out. When Nina is creating my video scripts, I want to make sure that she starts with a really strong hook that is going to capture the viewer's attention and make them watch the video all the way through, period. Go ahead and tease something that doesn't happen until the very end or create some kind of hook that's going to make them want to watch, period. And then you can introduce Kelly or the channel. Okay, so I'm gonna add that. 
and then GPT is going to update it in the configuration. So now going forward, Nina is knowing, oh, before I write anything like, hey, welcome to the channel, write me too, Ta, me too. I, I wish that my um, on, I wish my editor that I use Descript to edit my videos, I wish Descript had that. <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, okay, so it's updating. So you don't even need to know how to configure. All you need to know is how to talk to your GPT here. Look, I've updated Nina's behavior, focusing on YouTube video scripts that start really strong hooks. These hooks are designed to immediately capture the viewer's attention. Is that not cool or what? Is there anything else I want to adjust? Nah, I'm good for now. I am good. Thanks. So now we got to go over here, click update. And then obviously it's just one's just for me. Hey, do you guys want to see how to make one from scratch? Shall we? Ooh. Don't say that. I might have to go back and fix this later. Nope, it worked. Okay, and then I could view it. Cool. I need y'all to tell me yes. I need you to say, please, Kelly, show me. Give me the juice. Give me the secret sauce. So I know we're going in the right direction. Or I'll go on another tangent, y'all. Thank you for sharing about Descript's AI. Okay, so just so we're clear, technophobe. Love it. Um, that was not Descript. I use Descript to edit my videos. Descript does not have AI makeup. That's cap cut. We are talking about two separate. I was just saying, I wish Descript had an AI makeup because I use, um, but for all my short form video, I shoot through my phone and I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. I, I edit those through, um, through cap cut. We're going to make a GPT. Broskies. That's what my kids and I call each other, broskies. My my daughter, 10. I'm not a bro. I'm not a broski. I'm like, whatever, brosafina. You guys would crack up if you ever had dinner with me and my family. We are hilarious to each other, even my husband. Like last night, my seven-year-old, she's like, these boys at school are so mean to me. I was so angry. I had to get the busy box, the fidget box. My husband's like, you can't let these boys bother you. You got to be like, whatever, bro. That's what you got to say to them. And I was like, yeah, you got to be like, whatever you got to say, it don't mean a thing. Deuces. This is how we talk to each other. <laughs> I crack myself up. Okay, I'm sorry. Y'all, you love me, right? This is fun. Am I driving you nuts? This is why no one watches the replay. It's like, holy crap, this lady is crazy. I need to get a real holder for this.
Oh, God. You guys missed the story and everything. It was the funniest story. I bet you guys were like, what is she talking about? I'm sorry. Um, I feel like I should go back and tell you, where, when did I lose you? When did you lose me? <laughs> Give me the juice. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. I'm back on, right? I, I like was messing with this and I accidentally muted myself. Thank God I turned on the reactions. I would have gone for another hour. Good Lord, Kelly. I need another cup of coffee. <laughs> Okay, I'm back on, right? Basically, I was just telling the story about my seven-year-old having a bad day, and we told my seven-year-old just to tell those boys that were making fun of her, whatever, bro. All right, that's that. All right. You need a new mic stand. Yeah, that's around the time, isn't it? Okay, we're back on track. You can hear me now. Let's get back to it. Um, let's backtrack. Shit. <sighs> okay to your settings, to your GPTs, right? When you dove back into the screen. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It's, this is what happens when you're live, like shit happens, okay? Um, it's gonna load. We're gonna create a GPT that is like a ninja prompter. And what I was talking about while I was muted is I have this TikTok channel that used to be called Proven Prompts. Um, and I just recently renamed it Real Baby Got Bot. I own the trademark Baby Got Bot. Somebody signed up on TikTok as Baby Got Bot. It could have been me because I'm old and I got brain issues. Not really. I mean, I'm a mom. I just forget things. Um, and that's possible. But I think someone else signed up uh, Baby Got Bot and now I'm going to have to go after them because it's trademarked. But anyways, now it's called Real Baby Got Bot. If you want to go follow me on TikTok, I have like several TikTok channels. One of them is for Amazon influencers. One of them is for selling media marketing. And the other one is now the baby got bought one. But anyway, um, I have all these prompts and I, I have this prompt formula. That's what I was about to tell you. Um, and that's what we're going to use to create this GPT. I have this prompt formula that I use to create these amazing prompts that work very well for all different types of scenarios. And I basically created all these TikTok videos to show you how to make these prompts. And I did it with both Create and Canva. And um, super easy to do if you have the prompt formula and you tell GPT. But what if we created a GPT assistant that was like a prompting ninja? So that's what we're gonna do. So we have a blank, this is a blank slate. GPT has not been built. And you can see here, configure, nothing is in here, okay? So you can either go in here, name your GPT, whatever you wanna name it, put in a, whatever you wanna do. Or you could just like chat with GPT builder here, whose job it is to fill in those blanks. You don't even have to fill that crap in, okay? So what would you like to make? So we're gonna tell it what we like to make. Yeah, y'all, I just muted it because I was like messing around with it. I'm gonna try not to mess around with it. All right, here we go. I want you to create a prompt creator ninja called Sam, and Sam is going to make it so that I can create all kinds of prompts for various scenarios that I can plug into ChatGPT or any language model to get the output that I need for the tasks that I have. I want you to use the following formula when creating prompts. So we're gonna do this. Put in my formula, here's my formula. So we're just gonna start with that. Watch what happens, it's like updating. It's got, it's like it's little brain is working. Are y'all with me still? I know that I like lost a lot of people because I was <laughs> all over the place with no volume. Y'all with me? I hope so. hit that thumbs up, hit that, the little hearts. So I know that you're with me. All right, great. We're creating Sam, a prompt. Look at this. Look, did you see that? Did you see it pop up? It was like right next to my head. Um, I'll show you in a second what I mean. Great. We're creating Sam, a prompt creator ninja. Uh, now we'll decide on a name. I said to Sam, the prompt ninja. Does that work for you? Well, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to call him. 
Sam the Ninja. Cha, 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 cha. Right? <laughs> samurai. You see? He's actually a samurai. I should call him, instead of Sam the Ninja, I'll call him the Sam the Prompting Samurai. Look at that. Even made me a photo. How cute is this guy? Here's the profile photo for uh, nin for my Sam the Prompt Ninja. It features a ninja silhouette holding a pen like a sword. It actually looks like a sword, bro, but cool. Um, set against a creative, thought-provoking background. Do you like this profile photo? Sure. <laughs> like, works for me. Great. Let's refine the context for Sam the Prompt Ninja. To start, what kind of tasks do you envision Sam helping with? Are there specific types of prompts or scenarios you like? You to focus on this would help define the ex okay so let's go in here um i want sam to help me create all kinds of prompts for text based content in various industries when chatting with sam i want to make sure that he asks what is the industry and what is the main goal for the output for this prompt. Kind of makes sense. I know what I want it to do. I just don't know if Sam knows what I want it to do. <laughs> Let's find out. All right, so it's updating. Again, I didn't have to do anything in the back end because it's filling in. I'll show you when we're done here. It like is filling in the back end. And over here, if you could see by my head, over by the circle, um, it, it actually created prompts like already. So create a prompt for a sci-fi story. Uh, help me make a prompt for a marketing strategy. Generate prompts for historical analysis. Okay, cool. Sam, the prompt ninja is now configured to assist with creating um, prompts for text-based content in various industries. Uh, make sure he uses the prompt formula. This is my special secret sauce formula. So he's going to need to know um, these things. I should add that. Sam is going to need to know what or who is the chat GPT acting as, comma, what is the niche or topic, comma, what is the main task for this prompt, comma, who is the intended audience, and what is the end goal? All right, so I'm adding all that because that's all part of my prompt formula. So you all know my prompt formula, this is the formula I use when I create my prompts, is you are a, what is it? You got to tell it what it is. Who is an expert in niche topic? I want you to do something to help this audience with this thing, this goal. That's my prompt formula and it works every time. All right, so there it is. Awesome, great. Let's go uh, to the back end. So now you can see. So there we have an image. Um, I thought we named him. We'll just name him Sam. Sam, guiding detail prompt creation prompt. Here's all the instructions. And as I'm playing with Sam, I can always go back and do the same thing. Just chat and say, hey, can you make this change? Can you do this thing? All right. So um, we're going to delete these. I don't set up a chat GPT. Okay, that one I like. Approach for customer service. Help me create a prompt for chat GPT. So the other thing, because I know some of y'all like to do like image prompts, I would then, if I wanted to also do, you know, train Sam on doing like Dolly or mid journey prompts, I would then need to train Sam on that as well. Now, if I'm going to, end up using Sam, which I might since, you know, we're here. Um, I might, I'm not going to do this right now because it does take some time to really train these things to do what you want them to do. But I would go in here and I would create a knowledge base that's very extensive. I could be like, here are some examples. I think it's so important. This is a missed opportunity for anyone using AI, whether you're creating a knowledge base for a chatbot, for a GPT, an assistant, or you're just, um, you know, talking to ChatGPT to do something or Magi or or Llama or whatever you're using. I think that a missed opportunity is not giving an example. 
So I would even go in here and I'd say, here are some examples of some prompts. Here are some examples of some proven prompts that you might create, right? And I would then add whatever, I might have some here, I don't know, let's see. I don't know if I do. Hmm, I don't, I, not right here. But I would then add examples of prompts, okay? I have them somewhere, so I would go back and do that. Or I would make a PDF or a knowledge base and I would upload that, that prompt knowledge base. So then Sam would have examples. Does this make sense? Are you guys, wrong camera, are you guys with me? I need to change the camera on this because I keep looking at the wrong camera. Hold please, before I drive myself crazy. Oh, hi, back on track, okay. So we all here, you love it? Love the mic, but easy to hit the mute button. I know, right? Mic, and this isn't even a mic stand. This is a pop stand. I have, I, my daughter keeps stealing all my stuff, so I don't know, she thinks she's a YouTuber. Um, okay, so you get the idea, right? So now, now I've created, essentially, and we're gonna go up here, up to the top here. Can I, boop, where, you see where it says save at the upper, above my head, the upper right, we're gonna click save and look, you have some options. I can say, this is only for me. So this, like for instance, Nina is trained for me, for Baby Got Bot. I'm not gonna share Nina with anyone else, but um, I also have one people with a link. So maybe you make one for your customers, your clients, whatever, or make one public. And the public ones end up on the GPT marketplace, which is still a new thing. So I wouldn't put too much merit into that, but. Um, in order to use a GPT, if you are sharing them, the user has to have, I believe still the case, a pro account. So just keep that in mind, okay? So right now I'm just gonna say, this is only for me. Sam is mine until at least I, I really make him shine and then I can share him with all of you, okay? So Sam is created. I could go and say, okay, I'll, let's do, uh, help me create a prompt, Sam. Right, so Sam's gonna do that. Absolutely, I'd be happy to help you. What or who is the, oh, I already see, I already see a problem that I wanna fix, okay? Which is good, right? So we wanna go fix the problem, how do we do that? I'm gonna go back to my settings, my GPTs, find Sam, where's Sam? Go to the pencil, and we are just gonna chat with our GPT builder, what we need it to do. When Sam is asking questions, only ask one question at a time and allow the user to respond before proceeding to the next question, period. Only ask the questions needed to complete this task. We do not want to over ask questions and bore our user. I hate when that happens. All right, so we're gonna update it so that instead of listing like every single thing, I like to make my GPTs more conversational. I don't want them to throw 20 questions at me and then I'm like, oh, now I gotta go like answer every one of those questions. I'd rather them be like, hey, who's the audience person? I'm like, yeah, it's for these people. Cool, what's the goal? Yeah, it's, this is the goal. So, you know, you design it however you like it. That's just how I like to design mine. Do you need a pro account to do these things you're showcasing? Uh, Ta, thank you for this question. This is a perfect time to ask it. For this that I'm showing you right now, yes, you do. But I'm going to now, um, after we're done with Sam here, I'm gonna take you into Magi and I'm gonna show you how to do it in Magi. And for those of you who don't know what Magi is, hold tight, I'm gonna explain it. It's an amazing tool and I love it, I love it. Look at it, it's all set. Shall we test it? Let's update. It says it's unpublished changes. We gotta make sure we publish the changes. And we could test it here so I can, I don't have to do it here. Um, we don't have to go out and then come back in to test. So if we're just testing, no, 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 help me make a prompt. <clears throat> All right, first question. Is it gonna do it? Yes. What or who is the chat bot acting as? Um, let's just say a copywriter uh, for sales, highly, co high, why am I typing? High converting sales pages. Great, um, next question. What specific niche or topic will the sales page be about? 
All right, we're going to say um, a video course about AI chatbots. Understood. Sales page for the video. Let's ask the next question. What is the main task for the prompt? Catchy headlines, persuasive product descriptions, key features. So I'm going to say, um, what do we need? Like, I need some sales page copy. Creating sales page copy. It thought I said puppy. <laughs> Got to do that again. Creating sales page copy. Who is the intended audience? All right, cool. This is this is good. We're going to say intermediate to experienced chatbot builders who have yet to build an AI chatbot or who are looking for easier ways to build AI smart chatbots for all platforms including Facebook, comma Instagram, comma WhatsApp, comma Google Business, comma web chat and their website, plus more. All right. Very specific. They love it when you're specific like that. What is the main goal? Obviously, I want you to sign up. Okay. Buy the course. Well, obviously, that's the point of a sales page, right? <laughs> Come on, Sam. I mean, they got to ask. Because that's why I trained them, right? I asked to do that so they can create the prompt. Now, remember, Sam is just creating a prompt. Sam is not doing the work of the prompt. Act as a skilled copywriter specializing in high converting sales pages. Your task is to create a compelling copy for sales page targeting, bleh, so fast, targeting immediate to experience chatbot builders. The product is a comprehensive video course about creating AI smart chatbots for multiple platforms, including da, da, da. Your copy should highlight the ease and innovation of building AI chatbots with this course appealing to those who haven't built an AI chatbot. The goal is to drive immediate course purchases. Focus on crafting engaging headlines, persuasive product description. Man, like why even do it myself when ChatGPT does it so much better? Look at that, Sam, come on, you awesome. Let's see, let's copy it. So that's that. Sam is created. We can make any changes anytime we want to Sam, right? Sam has created this beautiful example for us. Let's just jump into ChatGPT. Let's just do 3.5. Let's just throw it in there. Now, like if you sell prompts for a living, maybe you're an AI prompt seller. I sell prompts. If you ever want a prompt, I probably have like a thousand in your niche. This is all you need to do. You just get yourself a Sam and be like, create or just be like sell access to Sam. I'm going to tell you how to do that too in a minute. Look at this. Headline, subheadline. Da, da, da. Uh, are you struggling with outdated chatbot techniques? Say hello to the future of chatbots. Intelligent, efficient, and user-friendly. Induce introducing the ultimate AI chatbot course. Aren't you, you guys, you want to buy my course now. <laughs> Money back guarantee, community support, expert instructors, and obviously we could change any of this, but Sam created the prompt, ChatGPT took the next step. Okay, you get it? We on the same page? So now I have Stella who writes my emails. I have Miranda who is my business coach. I have Nina who is my baby got bot YouTube expert. I have Sam, my uh, prompt samurai. I know I gotta change it from ninja to samurai. You get it, right? So what I want you to be thinking about, if you are a chat GPT user, a, pro, a plus user, and you're gonna be doing it this way, I want you to think about what do I use chat GPT the most for? So for me, I use it for emails, I use it for Instagram captions, I use it for blogging, for myself, for my clients. Um, so I would train one on my client. Um, I actually do this in Magi too, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. I would have one for, um, for prompts like we just did. So like whatever you're doing in chat GPT on the daily, but you're just like kind of having to redo over and over again, your GPT is now your one-stop shop. You just click on it, you push the prompt and boom. Yeah. Isn't that cool that the icon, yeah. Cause Dolly can create that for you. So like Nina, I just pushed the prompt. She's now going to help me come up with some ideas for videos. Okay. So you can go crazy. Like 
whatever you need. I use Stella and Nina every day, every single flipping day. And you can see when I, when I use it, it creates the chat here. Okay. So we're all on board. We all understand each other. You guys questions about this before I'm going to take you to another tool to show you how you could do this in a tool called Magi for even cheaper, although slightly different. Um, okay. So I'm going to wait a second. I'm going to tell you a so while I wait for your chat. Cause I know there's a slight delay. Make sure I didn't mute it. Um, yeah. So you have now, you know, all your GPTs, you're ready to rock. You're good to go. You understand the difference between a GPT and assistant, an assistant, which I mentioned at the beginning is open AI's like API. So it's essentially not as smart as this in the sense that I don't have to be like, I, I don't have to be good at coding or APIs or anything to create a GPT. Whereas if I go into the open AI's GPT, I kind of have to have more of an understanding of how this stuff works. Okay. I don't have a cool little assistant to help me create it. And all I have to do is tell it what I want. I'm a bossy lady. I am not an assistant. I am a boss. Okay. Like I am the one telling you what to do. I don't want to do the work. So if I'm going to sit there, I want to want chat GPT's GPT builder to do the work for me. I'm just going to sit here and point, do this, do this. So that's why I like it. Okay. Would you put the prompt into your copywriting assistant? I could, I absolutely could. That's a, that's a good point. Um, I could put the prompt into my copyright assistant. I haven't tried it yet, but, um, no, you know, I don't have a copyright assistant right now, right? Sam is not a copyright assistant. Sam is a prompter, but I see where you're going. So you could essentially create a GPT that is like your, your copywriter. And then yes, then I would take the prompt that Sam gave me and I would throw it over into my copyright assistant. Because here's the thing that I think a lot of people will stay in one chat when they get into ChatGPT, they'll start with like, okay, you're gonna do this, and now we're gonna move to this, and now we're gonna like move to this, which is fine, but sometimes it muddies the water. And so this kind of keeps people have clear roles, just like in a company, okay? So we're gonna go somewhere called Magi. For those of you who want like to save a little dough, but also have like insane amounts of, by the way, this is in the, the um, could we create these in CBB? Hold that thought. We're going to CBB next. This, we're going to go Magi and then we're going to go CBB. For those of you who don't know what CBB, be, 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 it's a chatbot builder. That's the next stop. So I just want to mention Magi really quick because it is one of my favorite tools and I do market it quite often. If you get pro of uh, ChatGPT Pro, I don't remember how much it costs. Somebody can correct me, but I think it's 20 bucks a month, something like that, give or take. You guys let me know in the chat. Um, if that's not the case. So if you do Magi, I gotta go look at Magi's pricing, but, um, and you use my link, you get 30% off for the first three months, which is in the, the um, description of this video. Magi uses ChatGPT, but also Claude and a whole bunch of other tools. Plus it has um, other things. Okay, so like here's an example. GP, ChatGPT is $20 a month and you get the chat interface and the chat history. Now he has to update this because uh, pre-made personas is kind of what GPTs are. Magi already has it. Magi has a lot, as you can see, save prompts, all this stuff. You also get um, just, it's insane. I'm gonna show you the inside of it, but basically this is why I use Magi. It's like 10 bucks a month, you get way more. And um, if you use my, my code Kelly, um, my link is magi.co, I think it's magi.co. Yeah, magi, M-A-G-A-I dot co forward slash K-E-L-L-Y. You get 30% off your first three months. So it ends up being like six bucks. It's crazy. But the cool thing is, is uh, really just a quick tour. And then I'm going to show you how pers custom personas are essentially what these GPTs are. Um, so if I go over to new chat, let's just do a new chat. I just want to show you what kind of stuff is in here. So I can select the model and these are the models that are currently available inside of this tool. Now, some of these might be in beta. I think Palm 2 and Llama 2 are both in beta, which means only I have them, but you get GPT 3.5, you get GPT 4, you get Claude Instant, you get Claude 2.1 Advanced. Claude is my favorite AI tool for writing um, technical blogs. It's just amazing. Um, you get, this is brand new perplexity online, which uses, um, it can get internet access, but with 
with uh, not as not as good at output. So it's it's more for like research and stuff. And then they have um, this new tool that he's releasing that's called Best AI, and it will actually pick the AI. Um, language model for you. So it's like super smart. Isn't that the coolest thing? Like I don't just have chat GPT. I have access to all of these language models and every one of them has a different use case. And Magi has a tool that's going to pick the right one. So this is why I tell people like, unless you're a heavy, heavy chat GPT user like me, because I train everybody on this sort of stuff. So it, to me, it's a business cost that it makes sense for me to have both. Um, this is the way to go. Okay, but then you also, so I, let's say I wanna use Claude Instant, okay? But I also have personas. Now they have built-in personas. Personas are like assistants or like GPTs. The only main difference, and I could be wrong, he might've updated this, I know he's gonna make this update shortly, is that I don't think you can upload PDFs to the assistant, but you can upload PDFs to the, the chat. So I gotta go back and check that. We'll do that in a sec. But right now it's always gonna either be general assistant or there's a storyteller, a recruiter. You can see I have Stella in here. I've trained Stella in here. Uh, Premier Blogger, this is the assistant that I've trained on my client Premier Grilling's blogs. So I could just go in here and like, hey, write a blog about this and it's gonna do it in their voice. Um, there's just so many things. Bible scholar, debate expert, DIY expert. I think Nina's in here. She's just under YouTube person. Uh oh, who's calling me? Spam call. Okay. So HR consultant. A lot of these are already built in. So here's Nina. This is just like the Nina I have elsewhere. Okay. So I have Nina. I've selected Nina. I've selected Claude. And now I can, and you can have, um, you can have saved prompts as well. And you can see here, I can upload a PDF. Soon I'll be uploading an image. Soon I'll be able to upload music or uh, sound files. But right now I can upload a PDF as well. So I could say, hey, you know, here is some information, write me a video script or whatever it may be. So essentially the same thing. Let me show you how it works. We're going to go over to, cause I have to show you, cause honestly, a lot of people that follow me know to use, um, use Magi. And by the way, just so that we're clear, like a lot of people who have followed me for a long time know that I was a big Jasper person. I know Ryan Baggett was just talking about Jasper. What was it last night, Ryan? Do you ever sleep? My God. Um, he was talking about how Jasper kind of like went downhill because they made all these promises and their pricing was crazy. They were like the top dog of these kind of tools. And then GPT came around and it just went, blah, 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 you know, like bleh. Um, Magi has stepped in and taken that spot because not only does Magi use GPT uh, 3.5 and GPT 4, OpenAI's API, but if they crash, because sometimes these tools do, if their status is down, site down, you just click over and use Claude or whatever, right? It's kind of cool. All right, so we have custom personas. I'm just showing you one little piece here of Magi. There's actually a lot of things you could do, include, including creating images with um, Midjourney and SDXL and Dali. So new persona. Okay, so this is a little bit simpler, but I do know that he's going to be making changes to this to update it. So it's a bit more like a GPT, but it, it essentially does drop my link. It's in the con it's in the description, Joe, but I'll, I'll put it on the screen really quick. Um, Magi, whoops, mad, Magi, um, dot com, dot co. I do that every time. Dot co forward slash Kelly. You got to just do the forward slash Kelly. Uh, I just put it in the comments too for you on YouTube. Those of you on YouTube, there it is. Um, that's gonna get you 30% off your first three months. So it's it's like dirt cheap. It's like ridiculously dirt cheap, right? Um, yeah, cool. All right, so uh, create new personas. Oh, look, it's um, on Facebook now too. Look at that. Create new personas. You're gonna name your persona. So we have Sam, Samurai Sam, right? And then we can essentially put in the same instructions that we put in over here in my boy Sam. My boy Sam. I'm just gonna grab it. I mean, I know that you aren't you aren't gonna have Sam here and Sam there. If you're using Magi, you're using Magi. But the reason I'm just doing this is save time because I don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch me create yet another GPT. How boring! How boring can we be? So we're just gonna take boop, all this. Thank you go in here. So you're basically just going to put the same context in here. And then um, for searchability so that you can find Sam quickly, you can always do this. So I'm going to say Samurai Sam. 
I don't know how to spell Samurai Sam. Let me do this. Samurai Sam prompting ninja. You guys, I don't know. I don't think a samurai is a ninja, just so that we're clear. <laughs> All right, save. Now I have Samurai Sam, the prompting ninja, trained here. And I can go in, I can create a chat, I could select Sam. So if you're a Magi user, you can still use this concept. It's maybe not as um, in depth or smart in terms of how we build it as GPTs are, but you can essentially do the same thing. And the other cool thing is like, I have different, so I have uh, different brand packets. I have, um, I can train it on my brand. So you can see here I have, where's my brand? Um, my brand, everything, like this is the knowledge base of my brand, Stellar Media Marketing, right? So I can train it on my brand, just like in CBB, which we're going to next. Um, you can train your personas in CBB to uh, Chatbot Builder so that your chatbot is this personality, okay? So it's kind of the same concept, except Magi is not a chatbot tool. Magi is a language model tool that also you can do other really cool shit with, like create images and stuff. So I can go in and um, you could see some of the images that I've created in Magi using all these cool things. Mm, feminist ate it. Look at this. Too cool for you all. I created that with Dolly, bro. All right. So let me, let me take a pause as we transition to our next segment. I can't believe I've been live this long. I get it now, Ryan. Damn. You have seen, let me recap, and then we're gonna go do some, some other nerdy stuff in for chatbot people. So if you're not a chatbot person and you're like glazing over, you can leave now, it's cool, after I do the recap. But if you want to learn how to make AI chatbots, we're not gonna like build a whole chatbot today, but I just wanna show you kind of like how all these are connected in their various forms, depending on your use case, because every use case is gonna need a new thing, right? So, um, okay. We started with what is the difference between a GPT and an AI assistant and an assistant in OpenAI. OpenAI owns ChatGPT and these assistants. I showed you the difference. One is what we built in ChatGPT, the GPT. GPTs are not, do not let anyone tell you that the, the way to do an AI smart GPT that answers questions on Instagram or on your website, that that's the way to do it. Okay, I need that to be very clear because that's absolute bullshit. Excuse the French, but no thank you. Either they are lying to you or, which is very likely, or they don't know better, but that ain't it. That's not what it's for. And if they figured out a workaround, it's too complicated for anyone. Why would you even do it? It's going to break, it's going to fail. And that is where we're going now. But first then, okay, so <laughs> got on a tangent. Uh, we did GPT, I showed you how to build it. We went into Magi, which is an awesome solution for those of you not only wanting to save money, but also get access to Claude, to all the GPT 3.5, uh, 4, um, Claude, two kinds of Claudes. I showed you, there was like so many, it was ridiculous. Plus you get whatever, um, the image thing, if you upgrade to the image package, which I do because I use everything, you get Dolly 3, you get um, Mid Journey, you get SDXL, you get Leonardo, you get everything. It is your one-stop shop for all your AI needs, right? Okay, other than chatbots, these are not chatbot tools. GPTs are not chatbot tools, not in the sense of how those of us in the chat marketing world use them. You chat with them, they are set up like a chatbot to make your life easier, do you get it now? Do you get why chatbots are so powerful? Because you're in ChatGPT experiencing that user experience. You can create that same experience for your customers um, and train it on your brand and it can use the power of ChatGPT and AI to answer questions to be your AI assistant, okay? This is at least $199 training we're getting for free. This is worth way more. You know I'm dropping all the goods. Anyone who's lucky enough to join my lives, they might be a little squirrely, but I give I give it all away, honestly. Um, I give it all away on my YouTube channel as well. It's so funny that people still buy courses from me, even though I've given away free shit for years. I wonder how that works. Okay. Now we're going to get real nerdy. Let's do it. 
So you've heard me mention it a couple times. Chatbotbuilder.ai. I used to be a huge um, ManyChat user. If you're new to me, if you're like, I know what ManyChat is, but you don't know who I am, then you don't know ManyChat. That's all I'm saying. I am like, my baby got brought, bought was ManyChat and ManyChat was baby got bought for many years. Um, and then we parted ways. I parted ways. It just wasn't for me anymore. I saw, I'm not gonna throw all their dirty laundry out, but I have been watching for some time now. I got burnt out for sure. And I've been watching for some time and I just don't like the direction. I don't like the way the customer service is going. I just, it wasn't for me anymore. There's, I'm sure there's still great things over there. But then um, I've known Ryan Baggett for years. We go back, uh, back when he was doing Tap the Table. Ryan, Ryan, he's so sweet. He credits me for his success. Shut your face, Ryan. And stop saying you're some not smart guy from the low country. First of all, I like your accent. And also... You are a smart AF, okay? Because uh, the way you built up Tap the Table, the way you're building up Chatbot Builder. Okay, so enough of the the bromance that <laughs> Ryan and I have. But we go way back, good friends. And we've been wanting to work together for years. We've kind of chatted like, can we do this? Can we do that? And then he approached me about a year ago, maybe not even a full year ago, <clears throat> and he started hinting at Chatbot Builder dot AI. It was called something a little, I think it was called Chat GPT Builder dot io at the time kind of riding that chat gpt while you could huh um and i was like all right i mean i'll look at it i'm a busy girl though like and it's really hard for me to really dive into new stuff you have to understand because of my brand i get a lot of friends a lot of fans a lot of companies who are asking me to look at content because they want me to promote their content and i'm just like Ugh, i don't have time to learn a new tool right <laughs> so i was like yeah i'll look at it and i kind of played with it and i i like I could see kind of what it was doing, but um, I just I just didn't get into it. And then one day, I want to say this past summer, it was probably July or August, Ryan and I got on a call and we did like a Zoom and he showed me something that blew my fucking mind. Excuse my French. <laughs> this isn't getting monetized. It blew my mind. I didn't know I was going to say that. Um, I was just so blown away by how easy it was to build an AI, remember for the past like year and a half, two years, I've been AI obsessed and just like forgetting, forget about chatbots. They're so old school, AI is worth that. Um, he showed me how easy and mind blowing it is, how mind blowing easy it is to create a smart AI driven chatbot without having to use any third party tools, no coding, again, I don't code, no API, no external commands or whatever. No web hooks, unless you want to use the web hooks, right? You don't need to know any of that. So he showed me, and I'm a very visual person. It's very hard for people to say something to me. And it, it and I'm just like, okay, like, cool, bro. <laughs> but if you show me, then I'm like, oh, snap, like it clicked. And this was probably August or July or August, late summer. And I kind of started working in the background and moving some accounts over. I moved Baby Got Bought over. I moved one of my clients on and started playing with it for them. And then last month, I finally, the volume cut out. Can you hear me now? I think I got too comfortable there. <laughs> it got to um, a point where I just needed to leave many chat. It was a chapter, the last chapter needed to close. There was a lot of like in my, just my world, it was a very hard decision because you have to understand, and this is going to sound like we're going to get deep for a second before we get nerdy. Um, I just need people to understand that it was a very hard decision for me to remove my brand from the many chat world because I spent like seven years really becoming who I was in the many chat community a very well-known international speaker. Um, you know, I, I won awards for being an educator in the, they're not up right now, I took them away. There it is, my award, educator of the year, um, community award. I, I built this brand and I bled for this business. I gave, I sacrificed for it. I would work so many hours editing video, creating video. And the thing that people don't understand is ManyChat did not pay me to do this. I made the decision. It was my decision to just go all in with ManyChat. And ManyChat did not pay me to do anything on YouTube. Nothing I did was paid by ManyChat, just so that we're all clear. 
And um, they, to be just really forthcoming, though, I did get paid to do their course that came out in 2020, I think is when the course came out. Um, I got paid really well to do that. I negotiated that shit. But outside of that course, once the course was over, that's it. I didn't get paid to do any content for them. So everything I built for ManyChat, I did on my own. And I, I just need that to be clear, okay? Um, when I believe in something, I go all in. But then I stopped believing in it because I just felt like, you know, there was, there was a lot that was going on that I'm not going to share with you. But there was a lot between personal things that are going on to also the stuff on I, – I, I see – how far behind they're falling and how they rely too much on third-party tools that end up costing customers more money. And I see the direction they're going with customer service. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but I know there's a lot of nonsense in my opinion. And so Ryan showed me this amazing tool and it was like, I have to make this final step. I have to make a decision to sever ties with something that I really tied my entire brand to. So it was very hard. I don't know if I, I can't say that I, uh, carried the whole brand. I'm like double timed faced here. That's so funny. I don't, I can't say, I can't do that. There, there were a lot of amazing educators out there that carried this brand in the beginning. And then they just now rely, they really don't rely on the educators anymore. It's really about, um, Instagram influencers who honestly don't even know how to use the tool, but I digress. Um, my biggest problem with ManyChat is they fell behind in an arena that I'm very passionate about, which is AI. I do believe that's where the future of everything is going. And I think that if we cannot, as chatbot builders, as social media managers, as agencies, as business people, if we cannot get on board with AI, we are already behind. You are not going to be behind. You are already behind. And jobs will be lost. End of discussion. Jobs will be lost. You will be out of a job if you don't know how to use AI in the right context. So he showed me this tool, Ryan. I sat on it for quite a while. And finally I was like, F it, let's do it. And I made my video where I was like, I'm parting ways. And I jumped all in. And now I wanna show you why. Because this shit is bananas. B A N A N A N. All right. Um, let's do it. Yeah, their, their support is crappy. Um, and that's something you'll see if you are wanting something better than that, than many chat, not only are you going to get the AI and I'm going to show you what I mean by how does this all tie together? GPTs, assistants, personas, chat GPT, um, going into chatbot builder. How does it all come together? This is where we're going to end today. Uh, we're going to spend some time here. So bear with me. Um, all right. Oh, look at my face. Look at that. I'm all over the damn place. Um, Boop, 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 boop. I just want to show you the pricing for those of you who are new because I've had a lot of people be like, that's expensive. <laughs> like, you're funny. Do you know, like, I get there's these little small time players who are trying to preach that, like, their chatbot tool does all these things. Bro, <laughs> you cannot touch, nobody can touch chatbot builder. Many chat can't touch them. I don't, you can, you can come at me on price, on features, on customer service. Nobody can can get behind chatbot builder. Um, no one can touch them. And that is the only reason that I knew it was the right move. Cause I like to, I like to, uh, align myself with the winner. It's the reason I aligned myself with many chat for so long. Cause they were the best at the time. They were the best in the world at the time, but they are not anymore. We coming at ya. Here we go. Okay. So you can get a free demo, three days, play with it, 100%, no credit card. I know three days doesn't seem like a lot. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to my YouTube channel, Baby Got Bot. You're going to watch the video I released yesterday. It is a 21 minute masterclass on how to set everything up. That's where you're going next, right? Um, and you're going to use the 21 minutes, build the chat bot. And before the three days is up, you're going to be like, F it. It's for me. Click upgrade, right? So you get all these things. We could do an apples to apples. I'm not going to, that's not what this live video is about, but basically you integrate with all the things you get Facebook, you get like messenger, right? You get uh, Instagram DMS, you get WhatsApp. Many chat has those. Sure. But many chat doesn't have a standalone web, uh, web chat tool. Guess what? Chatbot builder has it. Many chat does not have Google business chat integration, even though I have begged them for years. I even talked to the CEO about it, had to explain to him why it was so important. And still no chatbot builder has it. Email built in SMS 
done. Telegram, hell yes. Voice channels with 11 labs. Yes, yes. All of the above, bro. Built-in marketing tools. Everything I'm going to show you today is built-in, comes with your account. You don't need a third party. You don't need a Rippler. You don't need a Zapier unless you want to do something like extra. I mean, some of y'all are extra, right? Some of y'all are extra. All right, so here's like, let's go look at the channels real quick. I got Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Google, business messages, web chat, SMS, voice, Telegram, email. If you go over here to custom uh, integrations, open AI, you already get it. It comes with the account. You can't see my screen. <laughs> Bro. Okay, integrations. There it is. Open AI. Comes with it. You get 3.5 right now. Every account for the $49. You don't have to pay extra for contacts. Many chat charges you after you go over a certain amount of contacts, right? You don't pay for extra for that. You don't have to pay per message like you do with chat fuel, which is crazy. Can you imagine paying per message? Bro, if you're good at your job, you're probably getting a lot of messages. Am I right? Like, hmm, I don't think you want, let me see if I could do this. Boop, ah, I'm back. Yeah, this camera. Um, I don't think you want that. So just saying. Um, yeah, Digiflow's in there somewhere. Burp, 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 burp. It's in there. There it is. Oh, boop, it's right there. Mm, okay. These are all built in. ChatGPT is built in. No, you do not have to pay a third party. You don't have to run it through Zapier and wait like 20 seconds and hope that it doesn't clink up somewhere and fail you. No, it's all here. It's right here. So I told you um, that you could build an assistant. You absolutely can. Check it. First of all, we're going to go to OpenAI's. Uh, we're going to go through this pretty fast because I do have that masterclass that actually shows you how to do everything. But essentially, this is the brain of our chatbot. This is where the main um, knowledge base goes. I also have a video on my channel to teach you how to build a knowledge base. So this is going to talk about like everything you want your AI to know about your business. Um, you'll see here, again, uh, questions and answers. I always like to have um, examples, right? It's all about the prompt. The prompt is really important, OK? So we have the, there's a lot here. I mean, I trained the hell out of my, my bot because I'm training it on a lot of things. Like I have the entire transcript of my last video in here too because it's a masterclass and I want people to be able to ask questions and get answers. I also have these things called functions, something else I teach you how to do, which makes your GPT smart. Okay, so I don't know what other, I don't know how they do it in other chatbot builders because usually you have to have somehow, how are you connecting chat GPT? If it's many chat, you have to have like, a third party tool or the API or something, right? Again, I don't code, I wanna do all that. So it's already built into ChatGPT. But then on top of that, your chatbot is useless if it can't capture user's information and utilize that, right? It needs to be extra smart. Not only does it need to answer questions, but it needs to be able to capture information so that you can send estimates, so that you can send lead magnets, so you can capture their information and turn them into customers, so that you can do all the things, my nose itches, mm. you can do all the things you need to do to make your business successful, to make this chatbot pay for itself. This is how you sell chatbots. You gotta be able to make it valuable to the customer, right? So that's where functions come in. So you can train your AI so that when people are chatting with your AI, it's trained on you. So this essentially is all most people need to do. You don't even need the assistant. You don't really need prompts. All you need are is to fill out this business information, create a couple functions, and you're set. Most small businesses, this is all you need. So like I have a business, uh, my client Premier Grilling, they have a chatbot trained on their business just like this one here and has like two functions. One's to get an estimate and the other one, I don't even remember what the other one was for. Don't even remember. Um, but it works great. And people can ask questions about the company and it will it will transfer them to um, different places. It's, it's very smart. Now, if you're like my nerdy ass and you want to go next level, then <clears throat> you can have assistance. Now, remember at the very beginning when we talked about the difference between GPTs and assistants. These assistants are the API. That's essentially what you're building here, but you don't have to do it over in over in uh, OpenAI, you could just do it here. So I go in here, there's Ava, 
standing for AIVA, A, Artificial Intelligence Virtual Assistant, AIVA. Whoops, I don't want to add it yet. Okay, so let's just open Ava up. Boop, so you can see what this looks like. All right, so I named her. Just like I showed you before in Magi, just like in ChatGPT's GPT, your instructions. What does Ava know? What does Ava do? You can have a different assistant for every flow or every scenario, and they can kind of tag team and take over and like, right? So if you're thinking, I want to, I want to build the world's best chatbot. And this chatbot not only knows about this, but also knows about this and also knows about this. Well, this is my chatbot because my chatbot needs to know about ChatGPT. It needs to know about Stellar Media Marketing. It needs to know about uh, Baby Got Bot, right? So I cre I'll create different scenarios. And then here are my files. I can upload databases. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of small. Let me make it big for you. I uploaded um, my AI smart chatbot for lead generation PDF. So it actually is like scripts and stuff. My profile LinkedIn is in there. So if people are asking about me, Ava can answer the question. It's got, um, I have a sample FAQs and Kelly's resources. So I made like a bigger, um, a bigger knowledge base, bigger than the instructions. And I just add it. Um, build an AI chatbot checklist. This is the checklist. You guys can snag this, by the way, um, anytime you want. Yes, I'll get to that, Alvin. That's a great point. Um, so Ava's just a GPT, but in your chat bot. So now your chat bot. So the difference again, is that, let me save this, is that when we go and chat with Ava here, la, 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 la. let me um, go to my flows. Don't embarrass me, Ava. Let's see, we'll go to our welcome message preview. Um, it is truly, truly omni-channel. Alvin had mentioned that for those of you that didn't see his comment, that's what it says, truly omnichannel. It really is. It actually, there's a link where it will take people. Let's see, sorry, I was messing in here. I need to delete something. Hold on, hold that dot and we'll clear it. We'll clear everything so we can play with it. Okay, back to flows, welcome message. Um, there's a, like a link, actually, let me show you. So right for this account, I think I, I don't have Instagram connected to this account because I don't have a baby got bought Instagram account anymore, but I do with Stellar Media Marketing. So if I go and I want to um, click on this welcome message, it's the flow builder. You can see where it says omni-channel. So when I open the, the link, it will say, it will give the user the option if they're gonna use a link. It'll say, do you want to enter this chat via messenger, SMS, voice, or whatever else I have connected. So if you're in my main chatbot, which is Stellar Media Marketing, it'll be like Messenger, Instagram, or web chat, I think are the ones I have enabled. So whatever you enable, Omnichannel is gonna give them that option. Does that make sense to everybody? Hopefully. So this is what it would give my users. What do you want? How do you wanna chat? Cool, right? Is there a difference between functions and actions? Yes, there's absolutely difference. We can go over that in a sec. All right, so here Ava's greeting me, right? Hey, what's up? Hello, this is Ava, Kelly's AI assistant. How can I help you? And so I'm gonna just be like, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's see how smart. I haven't trained Baby Got Bot as well as I've trained Stellar, so we're gonna see real quick if this works. Hey, can you tell me a little bit more about Chatbot Builder? I was whispering and it picked up. All right, let's do chatbot builder. They're not the same. Actions and functions are not the same, friends. I'll get it. I'll get to it in a minute. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Um, it says text B because Ryan and I were testing with uh, conditions last night. Let me let me go to somewhere where we. This is kind of like our testing spot. We were messing around, messing around. Sorry. No, no, gotta do it right. Yeah. By the way, what you just saw it said like A or B or whatever. I think it said A. We were creating. Um, <clears throat> We're creating a way for the AI to create condition conditional logic. So the AI can do conditional logic it was crazy, but I haven't fixed it yet. So if you're in my baby got bot chatbot, it's doing that. That's why I just haven't fixed it. Hello, my name is Stella, Kelly's smart AI assistant. I'm here to help you. How can I help you today? Um, does 
<clears throat> hold, hold that. Does Kelly still use ManyChat? Bro. Let's see what it says. How well did she train her chatbot? Kelly has moved all her personal and business messaging accounts from ManyChat over to Chatbot Builder. If you're interested in creating a chatbot for your needs, you can explore the features and benefits of Chatbot Builder by visiting chatbotbuilder.ai. If you have further questions and need assistance with chatbot solutions, please feel free to reach out to Kelly directly. Check this out. <clears throat> Does Kelly own Chatbot Builder? Bro, come on. <clears throat> Hopefully I trained it right. I'm training two different bots, so this is fun. Okay, Kelly does not own Chatbot Builder. However, she has chosen to use Chatbot Builder. Uh, yeah, there will be a replay. It's it's live, so wherever you're watching, the replay will be there. Uh, for her personal business message, Chatbot Builder is a platform, so it talks about Chatbot Builder. And then I can also say, um, how do I work with Kelly? So you can train your AI for any scenario that you can think of, right? So I created, if you watch the videos I released last month, I created um, a chatbot for a pizza company. Um, and the pizza, or like the, I think the masterclass was a wine bar, right? And so I was able to train it on the menu, the, the location, the um, hours of operation, um, what to say if someone, for instance, the pizza bot that I created, I asked, hey, can you help me with sushi? Well, in the, the knowledge base, I said, if they ask you things that don't have to do with the type of cuisine, cu cuisine that, you, um, that you make pizza, then you know, give them like a New York kind of vibe, like with some snark and let them know that you don't do that. So it answered, like, I was like, can you help me with sushi? It was like, forget about it. We only do the best, freshest, pizzas the only sushi we know is the the anchovies you know so like you can train it to have fun and be snarky and oh my stomach is is growling we've been doing this too long it's almost lunchtime okay so i'm not gonna get too heavy into the weeds about these differences but someone is like a whole bunch of people asking about what is the difference between functions and actions all right cool let's do that like there is a difference we got to go to a flow builder to show you though Let's just go to a new one so I don't mess up one of my other ones because that's what happens. Action. Test. <clears throat> okay. Welcome to the flow builder inside of chat. Bot builder, as we like to lovingly call it, CBBB. CBB. CBB. All right. So when you're in here, you see I have it as a Omni, but you can build your flow for Omni, for Messenger, for Instagram, for web chat. These are the only ones I have connected. So if you want to build it for something else, just connect it. Uh, Facebook reply, Instagram reply, confirm event reminder, post purchase update, account update. These are all required by the rules of Meta to have certain things for certain things. But most of y'all are going to be in the Omni situation. Um, an action. Let's go over here. Boop. Actions are various steps inside of your flow. There are a lot of different actions. Your action could be um, to add open AI to a specific node. And each one of these boxes is a node so that you, this is where you can change from like one assistant to another if you have a condition in between it or something. Um, so you could do that. You can add a tag. An action is a tag. A tag is a great way to categorize people, segment them. You can remove a tag. The tags are also very helpful for conditions. There's a lot of really good use cases. You can add an action to notify an admin. You can add an action to set the custom field. If you don't know what a custom field is, I mean, we got a lot of basics to cover. We're not gonna do it all today, but it's basically a file folder or like a, a filing cabinet and there's folders inside and each folder is a cuff, custom field, with information about that user. So if I'm like, what's their email address? Go to that folder, boop, there's their email address. It's a cuff. Ooh. I can clear the custom field. I can add my Google Sheets integration here where I can grab information, send information, look up information. Um, I can log events. There's special actions just for Messenger. There's special actions just for Instagram. There's, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Subscribe to receive broadcasts. Oh man, we gotta do some videos about that because that's, that's some powerful stuff right there, right? Let's go back and open this back up. Um, more actions, lots of actions, right? Uh, there's triggers. Triggers are ways to like 
like think of a trigger just like it would be thought of like a trigger is something that sparks something else right so you could do external requests you could delete the thing there's more there's tools you could go to another flow start another step uh start an external step these are all actions right do we understand actions it's a lot of things these are the things all the items that you can do inside your flow to make it even more powerful you will use most of these things one time or another actions are incredibly powerful whether you're an old school style builder or an ai builder actions are an absolute must to understand there's a lot of different types of actions it's a category of things you can do in your flow okay cool functions are not actions let's head out let's go to settings i just did a video on functions if you want to dive in it was released yesterday it was not the master class video we do talk about functions in that video but it's a shorter video about functions it's on youtube baby got bot. You just go to youtube.com forward slash stellar 24 seven. If you're watching this somewhere else, there you go. Um, okay. So settings, we're gonna go to integrations. Functions are a part of chat GPT. These are not actions. These are functions. These are completely different functions. <laughs> These are completely different things. Okay. So an action is everything I just showed you. It's, it's a category of many things that you can use to make your chatbot work more efficiently and do more things, okay? A function is essentially when we are going to help our AI to understand when it's time to gather information and save it to cuffs, and then we can send them somewhere. So for instance, I'm gonna do, um, I have this thing called the, agency blueprint you guys can go in and test this out you get the agency blueprint i can show you in a minute so i call it and again i have a training on this if you just want to skip ahead and you don't want to do it live or you want to do it over and you don't want to watch all like three hours of what i just did you can go watch this video it's like four minutes long um but essentially we're going to name our function you want it to be named so the ai can understand what it's going to be used for so it can reference it and say oh this is what we're this person's asking about the agency blueprint this is the function I'm going to need. That's the AI is smart enough to do that. So you got to collect the information for agency blueprint. What does the trigger do? Tell it what it's going to do. It's going to collect information like first name, last name, and email. Then what data is it going to collect? This is all part of the function. It's going to collect the user's first name. And we, this is the site is what you are going to call it so that the AI can figure out what it is that it's collecting. That's what this is. That's why it's a little bit more specific. This side is the cuff. You know what a cuff is, I just explained it, a custom field, it's a folder. So we're gonna save, the AI is gonna reference to say, oh, I need a first name. And then it's gonna say, hey, what's your first name? And they're gonna say, my first name is Kelly. And then it's gonna save that first name to cuff. So now I could be like, hey, Kelly, what's up? You know, we save that. Every time they come back in, we're like, what's up, Kelly? Yes, if they're on Messenger, it's already gonna know their first name. But if they're using Omnichannel, we don't always know their first name. All right, it's gonna, the AI is gonna be like, oh, it needs a last name. Hey, what's your last name? Or it might say, because it knows all three, it might say, hey, I'm gonna need, before I give you the blueprint, I'm gonna need your first name, last name, and email. And I could be like, my name is Kelly Mirabella, and not give the email. And the AI knows, no, I need the email. And so it's gonna ask. So once it collects what it needs, it's gonna save it to those cuffs, and then it's gonna send it to whatever flow that you decide to send it to. I show you how to do this in the master class. So please watch the master class I released yesterday. All right, so that's what a function is, <clears throat> okay? Who is still confused? You're okay to be confused. I can break it down further. I'm not trying to be snarky or anything. I'm just telling you there's a difference. There's a big difference. They're completely different. They're equally powerful things, but they're completely different. So let's go back to my flows. Reminder to self to go fix the condition in Baby Got Bot. All right, welcome message. Hold, please. Let's clear this so that it doesn't confuse you guys when we start messing with it. So I'm going to show you how a function works. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are going to go to flows. Y'all with me still? I know I lost a lot of people because now we're getting into the, like, the uber nerd stuff, and that's okay. I'm here for everyone. Um, we're we're going to be wrapping it up soon because i got to go eat lunch. But let's just go to uh, – you see here, I don't know if you remember, and Baby Got Bought, there was no Instagram. And this one, there is. It's because this is the channels that I've selected for this. We're going to do it through web chat because that's just the easiest to show. All right, hey, 
my name's Stella, Kelly Smart AI Assistant. I'm here to help you. What can I help you with today? I'm going to be like, um, hey, Kelly mentioned something about the agency blueprint. Can you help me get that? <clears throat> Always be testing your bots too, by the way. You could use this on a Shopify site. Sure. Why not? Oh, no. Well, damn. See, it did it wrong. I'm going to have to go and fix that. Dang it, this is a horrible example. Why did it do it wrong? Thank you, first name. Below is the link to access the agency scripts. Shouldn't have done that. Let's go into, there's a couple reasons it could do that. This was in default message. <clears throat> you gotta remember where my AI is picking up. This is all my default messages though, y'all. This is it. If you went into a default message in one of my ManyChat accounts, by the way, I never used default messages in ManyChat because I hated them. The old school way, default messages got in the way. The new school way of AI, they take over and do everything for you, okay? So this is it. This is the entire flow that does everything. This is my entire flow. If you saw the flows I did in my ManyChat account, you would be like, whoa, bro, whoa. In fact, not to get too in the weeds, I think I, they might have deleted the account. I did like go and I deleted like all my accounts. Yeah, you see, I deleted it. But let's see if they save some of my, I don't, I don't, I don't want any of that. All right, let's just look at, um, I don't even know what my welcome message is maybe. It's been a minute since I've been in here. Well, crap, come on. Automations, I just wanna show you an automation. Okay, so here's like something, ChatGPT webinar, someone comes in and then they go here and then there's a delay and then they go here, right? Or um, let's look at another one. I have a lot of test stuff here, so this is seriously insane, some of these things. This is one. Okay, so here's another one. See how there's like all these nodes and stuff? Like this is very common in many chats. And, and some of them, they're even more complicated, right? You don't have to do that anymore. This is all you need now. Boom, done. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. All right. So you know what? Can I go to another account where this is not so messy? The problem is that it's so messy because I keep messing with it. I wish my, if, if um, I deleted it, damn it. If I had the pizza one, it was already really tightened up and working. So sorry guys. All right. So the reason that that didn't work, by the way, because I had the same issue with baby got bought is that you need to make sure a couple things. And I do this in the video. If you watch the masterclass video, it like figures it all out. But you have to make sure your default reply is like not work or is turned off in the chat GPT section. You need to make sure your prompt is very clear. Like you cannot give them information unless you specific, they specifically give you all these things, right? So if I go here, can you get me the checklist for building a chatbot with chatbot builder? We'll see if it figures out what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what that, you see, that's why that we're, it's saying text A, text B. Um, if you guys are wondering why it's doing that, it's because um, Ryan and I were testing this feature where we can basically have the AI create conditions and we're testing it. So we are testing to see, is it talking about A or is it talking about B? If it, if they're asking questions that are regard to A, then we want this AI assistant to pick up. If we're asking questions about something pertaining to B, then we want this AI assistant to pick up. So that's why you're seeing text A, text B in this chatbot, okay? The, typically the user wouldn't see that. You're just seeing me in, in literal test mode. Totally, chatbot builder checklist is your roadmap to AI. So this is correct. A was how we trained it. <clears throat> All right. So the, the way that it's been trained is that if someone asks about the chatbot checklist or how do I build my first chatbot in Chatbot Builder, the answer, the condition would be this is an A question. And so we're gonna send them to this 
flow this part this node which is another open ai chat assistant who is trained specifically with this function to get this information and answer these questions because they've trained they've been trained on how to do this one thing so they're very good at this if this person's asking about how do i use chat gpt that's going to probably be more of a b question and so we're going to have to send them to that ai assistant who's trained on teaching them about chat gpt do you understand what we're saying here that's why it says text A and B. I know there's some chat about why is that happening, okay? So back to our thing. All right, so yes, um, it's asking me for my name. Um, my name is Kelly. This isn't the best example because I wanted to ask for my name and my email. Thanks for sharing, Kelly. If you need any assistant, okay, so it's all, it's all messed up now because we were testing. But essentially, I would be the, I'm so wrapped around trying to test this out that I've probably confused you guys more than anything, jumping from one to another. Let's go into this default message. Um, <clears throat> that's why I don't do lives of these because I test too much and everything gets whacked out. All right, so in my open AI, I have the assistant Stella, okay? And Stella is trained on specific things. The problem, the reason, because remember, if you remember my Stellar Media Marketing, I had said, I need the blueprint. I need the AI blueprint. And Stella did not send it to me correctly. She did not ask, the function was not working. Why was the function not working? That's what I wanted to discover. This is why. The reason it's not working is I do not want it to be an assistant who's answering in my default reply. I just want it to be a regular text or text advance because then the functions work. The functions currently, and I'm sure Ryan could answer this better than I, but currently functions do not work with assistance. So we have to be very careful about the distinction of when is it valuable for us to use a function um, and, and just in that case, just train it like we did before, which is what I typically do because I like a little bit more control personally. So now if I do it this way, it should, it should do it correctly and we'll test it. Um, or will I put the assistant who is trained to, you know, grab those PDFs and stuff? Yeah, that's, they're having this conversation about the, the back and forth that you guys saw with the type A, type B, but I, I, uh, unhooked it and rehooked it and now it's like jacked up and I got to fix it today. So that's why it's not working right now. All right. So I'm going to fix this. I turned off the assistant. Okay, so now you can see down here, here's the function, collect information for agency blueprint, right? Continue, all right, that's it. This is the whole flow. We're gonna publish this flow. I gotta go out and I gotta delete um, myself. There's better ways to do this. In fact, if you're in a new account, Ryan uh, created a flow where all you have to do is run through it and it fixes the whole damn thing. But unfortunately, I'm in an old account. Ryan, maybe you could push that over into my new account, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay, back onto it. Yeah, YouTube, iographer, my friend. Um, go to uh, Stellar, let me put it up. HTTP, oh, no, wait, 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 wait. YouTube.com forward slash Stellar 24 seven. If you go to this account, I'm gonna put it on the screen here in just a sec. Go there. My videos yesterday walk you step by step on how to do all this stuff. Right now we're just kind of a mess because we're all over. This is more for people who know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, you could stay and nerd with us. Um, okay, so that's deleted. Let's go back to flows. Burp, burp, burp. Okay, can't believe I'm doing this live. I like never do this live. Flows preview. Let's go back to web chat. All right, y'all see this? All right, let's make it nice and big. You saw, you can you can go here and watch the video. All right, hello, my name is Stella, Kelly Smart AI Assistant. I'm here to help you. What can I help you with today? What you see right now, what you see right now is just the welcome message. The next thing that I chat with will click over to the default message. So if you're wondering what is the difference between the welcome message and the default message, that's like this, this is a distinction between old school thinking of chatbot building with like conditional logic and flows like many chat style or new school AI chatbots. So I'm going to explain the difference in new school AI chatbots. Do not, they are not necessarily the same for old school. We're talking AI chatbots, super powerful. A welcome message is the first message. Y'all hear me all right? Welcome message is the first message that a user is going to see when they come into your chatbot from a general source. So if they follow 
Uh, if they're on your Facebook page and they want to chat with your page and they come in for the first time, they're going to hit the get started button, welcome message. They're going to chat with your Instagram for the first time, welcome message. They're going to chat with um, your web chat unless you have it connected to a very specific uh, flow, welcome message, okay? But if they come in through a uh, comment growth tool, so like they comment on Instagram and it triggers into a flow, it will not go to a welcome message, it will go to the message that you created. But a welcome message goes to them the first time they enter your chatbot in general terms, where you're not directing them to a specific place, okay? <clears throat> oh, if I refresh, I hope, are you talking to me? Are you talking to someone else? I don't know. Anyway, um, the default, it just did it again because I refreshed. The default message, in the sense of how I'm using it in ChatGPT, you saw my flow, it's just AI, is going to pick up anytime someone starts chatting inside of my chatbot. Okay, so when I say something like, hey, can you tell me a little bit more about Kelly Mirabella? When I type this in, Right now, my default message just took over. That's what's happening in the back end. So now the AI is using the knowledge base that I have put in its brain in the AI, in the flow for OpenAI. It's taking a minute because unfortunately I have not put in there yet. Only, uh, you, I need to make it shorter. I, I did this in another account. I haven't done it in here yet, but basically it's um, do not type longer than three to five sentences. Keep your, sent your responses short and sweet and you know all these things i'm i didn't do that it's like jacking up it's doing crazy shit right now i don't know why it's not answering but okay yes i know you're stella it's a horrible example hey i need the agency blueprint can you give that to me if this doesn't work then this chatbot's broken and i have some work to do today so I always start with a dummy account when you do a live because it's so much easier to show people how things actually work than using your test account. Ryan, why is my chatbot not working? Let's go find out why the default message is not defaulting, shall we? Default message, omni-channel, last output, that is correct. Last output, that is correct. Let's make sure that we are keeping our message is short. We're not. Let's put that in here. Now you guys are just watching me work at this point. Keep your messages short, only three to five sentences, but always valuable to the user. Always try to be friendly and conversational. So we added that. Let's see what else might be happening here. This is all correct, functions working. So that's not the problem. Let's go ahead and hit publish. Let's go check something else out real quick. Uh, we're gonna go to settings, make sure our default message is on. So this is where I turned on, because I'm using a regular default message that I designed. That's correct. <coughs> Integrations, open AI. This is turned off. You do not want both the other thing on and this on. So let's go in here. Functions should be working correctly here as well. Um, please always keep your responses to three to five sentences. Be friendly, but concise. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I think, I think we might be fixed um, just so that you guys see what's going on in my welcome message. I do not have AI in my welcome message. That's why you keep saying the same thing over and over again. I could easily do AI. I could show you right now how to do AI. So I would just go in here to content. I would go to actions. I would go to open AI. I would click on the open AI. We would say generate text, or I could say you are, um, you are an assistant. I would select the assistant, the user's message would go here, um, and then the save response. Okay, so this is gonna be the user's last message. We wouldn't even say that. Um, this is if I'm doing an assistant. I've never done it this way, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's find out. You are going to welcome people to the AI assistant experience 
by introducing yourself and letting them know that you are here to help. Okay. Um, I don't know if this can work. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Uh, let's do this. And the other one, it's called, it's so much easier for newbies because um, Ryan put the templates in here and they're already set up and I'm in an old account and it's not set up. So I have to remember how everything works. Uh, we're going to say AI output. I like to keep it consistent. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Uh, also, this won't work anymore, right? Let's just delete that. Now we need text box. We need to add the cuff. AI output. That way it actually outputs information. If I'm not doing this right, if Brian's watching and he's saying like, this is not right, Kelly. <laughs> you are doing it wrong. This is the first time I've ever done it with an assistant because I normally don't use assistants. Let's see. Didn't work. Oh, it worked. Woo! I tell her to keep it brief. All right. Hello, and welcome to the AI assistant experience. It took a second because it had to think about it, right? That's why we also want to, in the prompt, say, keep it short. Hello, welcome to the AI assistant experience. My name is Stella. I'm here to help guide you through all your inquiries and provide assistance whenever you need it, whether you're looking to learn more about digital marketing strategies, seeking advice on content marketing, or interested in exploring the possibilities with chatbots, I am at your service. Feel free to ask me any questions. You guys did not see me write any of this because I didn't. I didn't write this. You saw me set up this welcome message. It went from regular text welcome message to now the AI is doing my welcome message. This is the AI. And this is the assistant I built that I trained on. This is the first time, by the way, just so you all are on the same page with me, first time I've ever used an assistant as part of that I built as part of my welcome message. Usually I do it a different way. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, let's go do that. <clears throat> All right, this is me. Hello. Nope, that's Ryan. Ryan's messing with my thing. All right, so there it is. Okay. Um, it works. But here's the thing. Now the true test. This is why I'm, I'm struggling. Why it, why it wasn't, it was working before, and now it's not working. All right, so as the user, this is the welcome message. But remember, the issue that we were having wasn't the welcome message. The issue that we were having, I just wanted to show you how to build the welcome message as AI. The issue we were having is I need the function to work because we're talking about what is a function. The function is gonna be in my default message because default is gonna take over at this point. As soon as I type, the default message should take over. I My function is I want to get there. I believe this function is set up as name, first name, email. The AI should be smart enough, and this is why we have to continually test to make sure it works um, and update it. It should be smart enough to ask because this is how I set up the function. I need their first name, their last name, their email. Do not send them anything until we have that. We're going to find out if it's set up right. Can you tell me about how I can get access to the agency blueprint? And this is where the troubleshooting has me, has me. Uh, most of you, it won't be this confusing for you. It's because I have like a shit ton of accounts that I'm messing with all the time. All right, hello and welcome. Okay, now see, now we have a problem. You see who has caught the problem? The AI has repeated itself. This is why we test. All right. This is also why I don't like doing lives because then this sucks me in for like hours when I could be eating lunch. Um, <laughs> what should have happened? Can you please a not, what is this question? Can you please a not like an AI person, but that can even send the link of our SOP according to our needs. Yeah, you can train these things to do anything. Um, absolutely. So let's go back in. This is my welcome message. As an assistant, you are save output. So we got to go in and check out what's going on with our assistant. This is one of the this is one of the reasons why assistants are in beta. I also think most people don't, including myself. I just do it because I like messing with it and learning it, and it's my job to teach people how to do these things. I think most people don't need 
these assistants. That's what I think. I think most you, most of you would be better served utilizing. Um, see, here's the problem here too. Uh, we're not supposed to have functions in here because it can't read these files. Although, no, I have GPT-4 in this one. That's right. Um, well, oh God, I'm all over the place. My brain cannot go live and do live builds because I, I like think a thousand steps ahead of myself and it's hard for me to tell you what I'm thinking when I'm a thousand steps ahead. Okay, so most people don't need assistance because it does cause a lot of these issues and there's just a lot more troubleshooting and I do think that there are easier ways. But that being said, let's take a look here. Um, the assistant is pretty much set up correctly. Now, if I wanted to take the time to make it even better, I would go in here and I would tell it, you know, keep your answer short because I do think the answers are a bit long that it's sending and it's taking too much time. Please keep your answers short and concise, only three to five sentences, but always helpful to the user. Um, but it's still not transferring the function. So somewhere we have it and, it, and it did not transfer to a default message. So if I am having uh, Ryan or someone else watching this, just know that this is an issue. And I'm thinking in my mind, I have the answer and I'm trying to decipher it. I think that um, they, the assistant wants to take over at this point, right? But we don't want it to. We don't want the assistant takeover. We want the default message. So I do think the easier, the easier answer here is not to make it an assistant. I don't know if this is the answer. We're going to play with it. This is why I test everything, and then I teach you guys short videos so you don't have to sit here and watch me test. We're going to do it as um, just a basic text. Uh, I would then put in here, you are Stella, Kelly's smart AI assistant, period. You are here to help users get what they need in regard, nope, take that out because that's not this person's job. This is the welcome message. Your job is to warmly welcome users to the Stellar Media Marketing AI experience, period. Keep your sentences short, three to five sentences. Hit me with it. You saw the problem. I want to know what the answer is. This is, do I need to send a link? Do I need to send the link and invite the king himself on? Is this Ryan? I would send a link. We could, we could troubleshoot this live, bruh. You let me know. Probably should have my messenger open because he probably already messaged me to tell me what the answer was. <laughs> You just let me know because I don't know what the answer is. You would know the answer. This is your your baby. All right. So uh, this is correct, right? Generate text. That's fine. You're the smart AI assistant. Your job is to warmly welcome users. Uh, save out. Save your response to the custom field. That's correct. The function just connect to humor. We don't want them to know any other function. This their only job of the welcome message is to welcome people. That's all I need. So let's see if this works. If this doesn't work, we have to dive in even deeper. So again, the, the welcome message should not repeat itself. It should, it should just do what its job is, which is to welcome. And then the default message, which I looks like I need to publish, that could be the problem. <laughs> the default message needs to take over. Whenever you're testing, you've got to clear the conversation or it's going to look like a hot flipping mess. Let's go look to the default message because when you see these yellow things, it means it's unpublished. That means something in it has been changed. Let's just double check our work here. This is my default message. We're using uh, text advanced. We don't even need to use text advanced, but that's okay. Uh, Turbo, you are, okay, so this one is, if you can look at this, this one is a lot more trained because the default message isn't the welcome message. Only job is to welcome people. The default message is essentially Stella or my assistant. So this is why I said you don't, I don't think most people need the assistance. I really don't. I know I don't. Not in this case. For what I'm doing with Baby Got Bot and the testing that Ryan and I've been doing over there with like conditions and stuff, it's different. But for most brands, this is all you're gonna need is, is this stuff. So I trained it, right? Cool. Um, it's going to say, what is the user's message? The last thing that the user said, the user. And then we are going to respond 
the AI is going to respond and they're going to save the AI output to AI output. And then the function that this AI has the ability to use is collect information for agency throughput. This is the one that we've been testing and failing. Do we remember, remember the conversation? Yes, don't mess with these. I don't even know what the token thing is, not even, maybe that's why it's not working. I don't even know what these tokens are. It says optional, just don't mess with them. I know what tokens are. I just don't know why it was at zero or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Cool, bro. Um, publish. This is live. So this is, that's fingers crossed. I don't have time to sit here all day and do this. I'm starving. My husband just got home. I heard him come through the garage. We like to have lunch together. It's like one of the few things we do because um, we're busy people. Okay. I love how you said, I saw the problem. Is there a cheat sheet? There is a cheat sheet. Go watch the video that I posted yesterday. Although I, now I got to go fix baby got bought. Go watch the video, the masterclass, and you'll see at the pinned video, the pinned comment on that video um, is a link to the masterclass. All right. Here we go again. Before I talk, it should have greeted me. It should have greeted me the welcome message. So this is this is why I um, I struggle with putting AI as the first thing. And maybe this is something that just so that you guys are clear, I'm still learning this as well as you, right? I teach as I learn. Um, this gives me a lot of opportunity to think about how I want to teach it. Because now I'm going to go bug Ryan and be like, why is it doing this? I need to understand the thinking behind it. What's going on behind the scenes? That my welcome message is not triggering. Because now I'm coming in. I'm going to say hi. Um, the welcome message should have triggered first before I even had to type anything. That's why I'm like, why did you not say hi? Why is it not in? Now my chatbot just doesn't work. Jesus. Wow, this is embarrassing. What did I do? <sighs> Let's go look at the error log. Time out waiting for new response. Message cannot be empty. Must provide about. So I'm having issues here. Time out. What is going on that is causing this to happen? This is why you guys need to watch my recorded videos and not my live videos. Um, because I don't have all the answers to this. This is a Ryan thing, not a Kelly thing. Let me go back into my welcome message. Go back to my open AI, generate text, AI model, it's fine. I think I made it pronounced. You're still a smart assistant, three to five sentence. You are going to welcome people. That's correct. That's correct. Human agent, yes. Oh, look, this looks much better. I bet you it had something to do with that. Continue, publish. clear this. Now I'm just frustrated. I'm doing more. It will work. Cool. Like you said it will work, but it's not working, bro. I just have to go through so many steps. Delete the token, leave the field empty. Okay. So this works. <coughs> Welcome message wasn't published. That's part of the problem. There's so many steps when you're testing bots, bro. The chat was closed. I could see you chatting with my chat bot. All right, everything is working now. We deleted it. We're previewing. Let's go wait a second. Let's see if the AI is generating something. Still not working though, it's pissing me off. No, I'm just mad. My thread is not a real user. Okay. So I need to do it as a. Wow, this is going crazy. Can you delete your user there? All right. <coughs> need many 
you chatting on it, guys. I already saw. Is it helpful? I hate doing this. Hey, babe. I'm on a live. Yeah, thanks. Husband. As long as you guys find it helpful, I find it incredibly intense because I normally don't have eyes on me when I'm testing, and it's just not how my brain works. So then click publish and play. Okay, we're heading that way. <coughs> delete what? You keep saying delete that. Delete, delete the top. It does happen to us all. The thing is, is when you're when you're testing by yourself or like with one person, it's easier to go at hyperspeed and just do things and then take a break and stuff. When you're doing it live, you say bam, but bam, like literally, I don't know if there's a delay, but there's nothing here. My welcome message is not triggering. Hold on. You guys, I'm getting serious. The hair's going back. We're, we're really getting nerdy. I don't think I need to do that. It worked just fine yesterday, but I will do it for you because that's what we're going to do. I'm getting serious. In the inbox, is there a new flow? Bet you a dollar there is. It's triggering. It's just not... There's nothing there. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Ryan's getting it to work. <laughs> uh, hello, Charles. All right, channels. Oh, this is for my website. <laughs> I just need lunch. I need this solved. It's solved, y'all. I'm going to have to rebuild this whole damn thing. Nope. All right. Whew. Let's regroup. We have two main issues, right? Welcome message is not triggering. It triggered before, but then... When I did it as an assistant, it did not pass over to the default message. And I do believe that that's an assistant problem, not a me problem. So maybe assistant says you're, I don't know. I could be wrong. Whoa. Um, you'll be my tester. Um, okay, so let's double check this. So we have a couple options. We've tried the assistant. It greeted people, but it did not do the function that I wanted. I certainly could add the function here, but that's not what I want, right? This is just the welcome message. I could do a general text. Um, I could do an advanced text, which is what we did. I deleted the user. We, the user's deleted. It's fine. Everything here is fine. This is set up the way it should be set up. It has worked in the past. Um, it should work now. Just let me double check here. I'll, let's do something different here. Oops. Just so that my brain works, because this is how it's set up in the new new versions. In fact, I should be doing it so that the, the way the new version is, um, for those of you who are new, so you understand why it looks different. So it looks like this. The text box. This is what your template looks like. Okay. Everyone on board? Publish. 
I want to my flows, make sure everything looks published. Publish. Default message is working. We checked our settings. Default message is set up correctly. I don't want to test it again until I know. Default message set up correctly. Uh, yeah, default AI default messages. My default message. There's a lot of default messages in here. That's why I'm making sure it's the right one. Double check in. Double check everything. There's the agency blueprint. That's the problem we're having. I don't have a prompt in here. I don't have an assistant in here. I don't want it in there. I don't want to overcomplicate things that don't need to be overcomplicated. Okay? That's all set up correctly. Here's our problem. Bro. <laughs> I hope that was it because that just, if that was it, here we go. Fingers crossed because I'm getting hangry and we might have to take a break. <laughs> I only had a shake for breakfast. I need some like chicken nuggets or something. It's not true. I eat vegetarian during the day. Okay. I'm going to need someone to tell me why this welcome message is not triggering. It's asking. Okay. I know. Ryan's sending me a message. And I know, Ryan, if you're listening, I understand that it's working for you, but why isn't it working for me? <laughs> it's making me angry. Ryan told me that I should just show you guys his chat because he said it's working. So that's what I'm going to do. So maybe it's just me because I'm the admin. It's like he, he did tell me yesterday that sometimes it can be funky. Let's, let me go up here. That's November. That was an old one. So today's December 7th. Can you guys see this? Ryan's been chatting with it the whole time, and he's like, it totally works, Kelly. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. It greeted him. Hello. My name is Kelly, smart assistant. Uh, or Sorry, my Stella, Kelly, smart AI assistant. I'm here to help you. What can I do for you? He said, what up? Hello, I'm Stella, Kelly's assistant. How can I assist you today? What can you do? Um... Hmm. I don't like the way she's answering, but whatever. Can you tell me how, about how I can get access to the agency blueprint? Do you see how? Okay, so I'm assuming that um, this is back when it wasn't working. It was just continually giving the welcome message over and over and over again. So then we fixed that at one point, and then he chatted again. Can you tell me about how I can get access to the agency blueprint? Of course, to get access to the agency blueprint i'll need to collect some information from you could you please provide your first name last name and email address he said sure ryan thank you ryan could you also provide your last name and email address so now it seems to be working correctly ryan if you're there go ahead and continue because i need it to show what happens when you give the rest of the information and he's sending him a message And then I'm going to have to call him and be like, bro, why didn't this work for me? Because it always works when I'm playing with it as a guest or whatever. Testing's a bitch. I, yeah, I did. I had the AI auto response on and the default reply on, which is why I turned it off. But you're absolutely right. That was what I believe to be the problem. So don't ever want to do that. If you watch the master class, look at this. Thanks, Ryan. Could you also provide your last name? Great. I've connected you to a human agent. It's not working the way I want it to work, but I did get a notification. Although he never responded. It's not working the way I want it to work. Piss me off. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm angry. <laughs> this is why I don't do lives where I'm building, because I get way too into it, way too serious. So um, for now, because it's pissing me off, I'm going to fix it by just writing a welcome message, a static welcome message. Hey, welcome to Stellar Media Marketing's AI experience. My name is Stella, and I am here to help get you what you need, period. How can I help you today? Question mark. This is just a, a patch, you guys, until I have time to fix it. Because some of these, sometimes you mess with things too much, you break them, which is what I did. Uh, hey, welcome to Stellar Media Marketing the, to the 
Stellar Media Marketing AI Experience. My name is Stella. I'm here to help you. Get what you need. How can I help you? That's all I needed. Nope, don't want to do that. Probably not going to work because I got to go delete myself. I got to do all these things. Hey, I want to get the agency blueprint. Can you hook me up? Of course, of course, of course she can help now. <laughs> I'm going to need some information. Can I have your first name, last name, and email address? Yes, my name is Kelly Mirabella. I don't want to use Messenger. Great, Kelly. I also need your email. It's working now, by the way, if you guys didn't notice. I'm not giving you all my email address. You know how much spam I get? Put a fake email address in there. All right, now it's going to send me the, the link to the blueprint. It worked, and now I'll explain to you what happened. Okay, so that's how it's supposed to work. I don't know why, and this is something I will be troubleshooting today, and maybe I'll report back in the comments of this video. I don't know why, and if you guys know, if you saw something, if you knew why, the welcome message, the AI welcome message was not working for me. It has worked in other accounts. It did not work in this account. The way I was able to fix the issue, your thread was confused as an admin. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Um, the way I was able to fix the issue is I made the welcome mess, I simplified it. Sometimes that's the key, right? Sometimes you just have to simplify things until you can fix them the way you want. I'm just kind of a control freak and I want things the way I want them. But I simplified it and I made the welcome message text. Now, the reason I don't necessarily want that is because I have the mindset of that's old school. I don't want to do it old school. I want every welcome message to be an experience that's new for everyone, right? I want it to be tailored to that, but you know, whatever. It's just a welcome message. That's not the most important thing. So I changed it so it, it's going to be the same welcome message for everyone in this case. But what happened is it welcomed me welcome message. I wrote, I want to get the agency blueprint, which then handed it over to the next flow, which is the default message. I had the default message set up wrong. If you remember, the way I needed to fix it is I needed to go in to my settings. If you watch the masterclass, I, I do it correctly, but in this case, I had it um, not correct. I had my default message turned on here and under integrations, this was turned on. We do not want both of those at the same time. Turn it off, okay? Back to the chat. So then what happened is she said yes. So at this point, I, the user, have asked for an agency blueprint, and the AI is now smart enough to say, if you've been sticking with me for a while, I know that was crazy, oh, I need a function. So it's going to go and reference the functions. In this account, I think there's two functions. There's human agent, and there's the agency blueprint. So my function in this case, it figured it out was agency blueprint. So the AI is looking at the function and saying, I have to get their first name, their last name, and their email. So they say that, I need to get your first name, your last name, email. The user says, my name's Kelly Mirabella, but doesn't give the email. This is an important thing that you need to understand. This is something you can explain to clients about how insane this is. Yeah, I'm sure my husband's here using my internet now. <laughs> I'm on the fast stuff. This is the crazy thing, is that the AI has been trained to get the complete information, just like a human agent would be trained to get the complete information. So when I said Kelly Mirabella, but I didn't give my email, AI knows, oh no, I need the email. The function is not complete without the email gets the email, then sends the information. Here's the resource. By the way, now you can go play with it and get the resource. It looks like this. Um, you will have to do this again. No, I don't want to do it. But basically, this is the agency blueprint. It's probably the most powerful thing you'll ever play with because it's going to help you get clients. It has scripts for getting clients. Thread API was going to test admin user who didn't exist. Yeah. It was, I confused it. I was just doing too much. Anyways, it's fixed now. If you guys want to go play with it, 
It's fixed now. Don't play with baby. I got to go fix baby got bought after lunch because that one's still doing conditional logic when it doesn't need to be. So. <laughs> that was fun. Stressful. By the way, um, according to, I believe this is Ryan because he was like all up in my chat. Um, this only would happen to you as an admin in web chat. There you go. I stressed myself out for no reason. But as you said, it was a learning experience and um, and you got to see how it worked and, and why. Like I, I'm really one of those people, I like to understand not only visually as I explained to you what's happening on the front end, but then I also wanna understand what, what is happening on the back end. And so that's, that's something that's really cool that I was able to show you too, because you got to see how it was built. But then also on the front end when we're chatting, you could see where we went from welcome message Boom, it went into default, boom, it went into function. So all these things are pieced together, making this chatbot insane, right? Like this thing is insane because <clears throat> it's working like a human. And that's exactly what we want. Now, I will preference this by Stellar Media Marketing and Baby Got Bot. You will very likely not see me use these on video very often because I test them here too often and then they get very complicated and this shit happens, okay? So usually you're gonna see stuff like this where I'm like, let's create great expectations because in the world of bot building, you typically will not be getting into the type of shit that I get into because I teach it. So I have to understand every little thing. Like if something breaks, I not only have to fix it, I have to understand why it broke and how to fix it. So that's why I like go into all these tangents because I have to, in my mind, I'm running through like a thousand different things. Like, oh, I got to check this. I got to check this. I got to check this. And then I have to explain why. And then I have to explain why it fixed. Okay. But when you're building for yourself, most of you who are not educators, you're just building for clients and stuff. You're just going to be building like I would call a basic bot, but honestly, it's a badass motherfucking bot. <laughs> excuse my lunch. Excuse my, it's my French. So I think that's where we're going to end today. Um, I'm going to go have lunch, and this is my last live for the day. But I do invite you to go and check out, while I'm like double-faced again, go check out my videos on uh, Baby Got Bot. And, um, oh, Charles here says, uh, please, I'm new to chatbot building, but I love the game so much. Please, I need a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up chatbot flows. Well, you're luck you are in luck, my friend. Let me show you exactly where that video is. Check this out. You're going to go to youtube.com forward slash stellar247. Okay? This is where you're going. This is for Charles. This is for everybody. You are going to go down, and you are going to go to this video right here. Build a lead generation AI assistant. This is a 21 minute master class. This video right here, It 21 minutes. You can go down here to, if you click on more, go to the chapters, it's gonna tell you everything. The introduction, how to sign up for Chatbot Builder, how to connect your platforms, how to name your chatbot, how to um, access open AI already built in to your chatbot how to uh, train your chatbot, how to connect Google Sheets, how to use your welcome message, which honestly on all new accounts, it's already done. How to create a default message, an open AI default message. How to create a function, something we were messing with today. Creating a confirmation flow. Uh, how to send information to Google Sheets that you've collected. How to uh, create a custom field. How to add the custom uh, function how to connect default reply um, to like all the different places you need. Um, like everything, everything you need to know and how to build a chatbot. Not only that friend, but if you look at the pinned comment and you go into Ava, although Ava's broken right now, unfortunately. Um, if you go into Ava and you chat and you tell Ava, hey, I want the, the cheat sheet. She's probably going to give you A or B <laughs> because I'm testing her. Um, can I get the, not the cheat sheet, call it the checklist. Okay. You tell Ava that you want the checklist. She's going to be like, text A until I fix it. There it is. And then she's going to ask you for your first, last name, email, whatever. She's going to send you the checklist. Okay. So you're going to get the checklist that tells you all these steps that I'm teaching you in this masterclass. 
21 minutes, but it's worth the time because it's going to teach you literally everything you know. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to set up a chatbot for yourself, for your clients, not just a chatbot, friends, but an AI chatbot with a function in it to capture lead gen information. And you get the checklist that you're like, oh, check. Do you want to see? Okay. Because I get so excited that you're even watching. I'm going to show you one more thing and then we're, I'm done. And then I'm eating lunch. <laughs> the checklist I keep referencing, this is what it looks like, just so you guys can see it. Um, I've got a thing for creating guides, but this is a checklist. It just basically says like, have you done this? 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 Here's a video to watch. Have you done this? Have you done this? Have you done this? It's literally like how to build an entire chatbot. Don't forget a damn step. <laughs> and this gives you every step plus some other resources. So that's what you're going to get when you go and you chat with Ava. Um, and again, it's probably going to say A or B because I'm testing conditional logic with A with chatbots. So bear with me while I test, friends. I don't know if you saw. Did you see? Did you see it? I have my. I'm having foggy brain because I do have to go have lunch. But this is again. This is what it looks like. There's the checklist, the full step by step, everything you need to build an AI chatbot right there. Boom. Thank you. You guys have a rocking day. Thanks for those of you who stayed. I know everyone who stayed behind is a CBB fan or going to be. So um, definitely go check out Chatbot Builder, chatbotbuilder.ai if you have yet to sign up. It's awesome. Huge, huge fan of the community. They are the best. They have a great Discord. Finally created a Discord I can follow instead with threads. Changed the game, honestly. Best update on Discord ever. Um, I don't know when I'll go live again, but there will be new videos on this channel. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe because I come out with new videos all the time. Thank you so much for sticking in. I hope this helps you understand the difference between GPTs, AI assistants, um, using Magi, using ChatGPT. You can do it all. The world is your oyster. AI is your friend. You just need to know the right use case and how to use it and how to get a little nerdy. So I'll catch y'all next time on the flip. Bye.